And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Now, I'm telling you, there's no way the mics are live. It's not even... Oh, oh wait, hold on. Oh. What? Hi, I killed John Bonet. Hello? Whoa. Are we live? Live. Hey, everyone. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J Okerson. <laughs> that son of a bitch over there is I'm Dan. A, I'm Miss, a tackling asshole. Miss Soder, if you're nasty. Ooh. Uh, who sent a picture of a corgi wagging their butt? I put out a, a tweet asking if we had any campers with butt implants willing to talk about it and for our pre-tape we were doing, and uh, Carla Finch just sent this back to us. A little fake wiggle butt? A little wiggle butt. A little wiggle, wiggle butt. Um, Dan's going to be here with you on Hello. Tuesday. Um, what a day so far. I guess we're our mics live, we found out. We weren't sure. We said some very, very racist things. Wow. Uh, mostly from Black Lou. It was Black Lou telling us that we were white devils. He really it was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. Yeah, that's what he said. Something like to that effect. He went at us pretty good. It was good. Um, we took a good lashing. We took a good old-fashioned lashing. Um, we did some uh, lost tapes earlier today. Talking about fake butts. So, yeah, that would have been nice to have. Uh, I'd like to just keep the ball rolling here to let you know. We have a few people sent in. Uh, we've sent in videos for the guests what they're listening to. While fucking? While fucking game. Okay. We got a few replies on the who's going to bang Jacob. Yeah, I know. We've got a couple replies from ladies. We've got like Jacob. six or seven of those, but we need a lot. We got to go through it. We got to make this a thing. You have to fight for this man's affection. He's a catch. He's a body. But by the way, most of the emails were just simple things like, I would like to submit my name, but then like, you know, say why. Get a little right. more. Come on. Say why Jacob should pick you. Do you love Airwolf? Don't be lazy here. Yeah. Do you like Planet? Do you like Blue Planet too? Yeah. These are all things right in his wheelhouse. Um, maybe you should be dating Dick Cox uh, from New York, there, Jacob, because he really took care of you, huh? He hooked you up. How cool is this? You got a little care package for Jacob from Dick Cox, who's what did awesome. He, what did Jacob? What did he give you? I got a uh, Airwolf yarmulke. <laughs> I mean, don't just say it like that. A bonfire. Show a bonfire. That should, by the way, that should have been just for comedic timing, Jacob. So you know, that should have been the closer. Yeah. Airwolf Yamaka. Hey, yeah, who just gets an Airwolf After that, Yarmulke? it's just, yeah, it's J. Michael Vincent biography. Jim. It's not as exciting. And I have refrigerator magnets. I mean, you're closing with refrigerator magnets? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, they're really cool. No. <laughs> like, you, don't try to do an act out. The I'm, coolest listen. thing is a Airwolf Yamaka. Yeah, there's no one. I we, You got to wear that at the next funeral in your family. You got to wear an Airwolf Yamaka. Just the ultimate disrespect. <laughs> oh, did you just make sure your Roman chain was out when you yeah. took the picture? <laughs> yeah. Have, I Roman. like it. He's a chain full, guy now. Full Roman paint. Hey, did Roman respond to uh, you putting that in? Oh, man, come he's on. He's in Hawaii right now. So oh, of course. That's chill. Of course he is. Mahalo. Oh, he's mellowing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, or, loose. He's doing his day job of being, he's a meth mule. <laughs> <laughs> can I go now? Oh, here it comes. That's a whole condom. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can get any more up there. <sighs> Yo, tube, tubular. Oh, <laughs> you're tubing me. You're tubing me. It's tubular. I mean, dude, that's a great gift. It is. Thank you, Dick Cox. Great, great gift. I mean, you responded to that like small wonder. That was the most robotic way. You're like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I it's it. really fantastic. I didn't know Jacob had hot girl energy. He goes, yeah, cool, whatever. That's what people do. Guys buy you stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, you're fucking hot and approachable, and dudes throw shit at you. Well, you're about to be a sugar baby. <laughs> Pay for dinner like myself? Goes, yes, tomorrow you'll hear on the Lost Tapes that I uh, officially signed up to be a sugar baby for somebody. <laughs> and we'll see what shows up. Might have to give a guy a little shot at the old mud tunnel, but yeah. I'll tell you what, if it buy, is my rent for six months? Dude, come on now. Come uh, your on rent, now. get ready to go to Barbados. Come on now. I'm not a big travel guy. I don't want I want these guys to know I don't want to travel. Dude, we did I'll put, come to you. We did I'll put, do the things you need from me. But we put trash uh, passport ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are other parts of your profile, so we can't lie to these guys. I'm men. still, though, I'm very big. Uh, hand stuff, mouth stuff, yeah. butt stuff on, for the right price. Really? Yeah, I'm yeah, into play the game. I'm into pee hole manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do, uh, I'm into dick hole insertion. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty. It's a weird. It's like a Libyan it, thing. It's you. You have to travel to really know what it's about. You guys are probably just homebody Americans who don't really know about the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Where you know pee hole manipulation is real. I guess, I guess if you're closed minded, you don't know about pee holing another penis. It's still underground here, but. It's picking up steam, I think, in the States. Sometimes what you have to do is separate your pee hole to get another penis in your pee hole. Sometimes. Um, I am excited to come in today to talk about... I told this story 
on Legion of Skanks last week because oh, I had to. Cool. Well, no, thanks. No, Sloppy seconds here at the bond. It's not a live show. We have callers and people that can chime in and with their own stories. And I know, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at you, DJ Lou. There's a story in your life that resembles this, or is definitely in the same wheelhouse. I had a. Um, when I left here last yeah. Sunday or uh, last Wednesday, I'm sorry, to go to Legion of Skanks. I got out about two and a half blocks early to let Christine finish taking the cab home. And I was like, I'll walk. I'll walk over to Ralph's. It's only two blocks. Yeah. So I walk, and it's the shitty, snowy, rainy day. So I'm taking those baby steps. Yeah. You can't walk fast, you're going to fall. And I started to get that thing that's happening to me now as I turn 40, I think, is when I've only noticed this, is that when I don't have to pee a lot during the day. I'm not a big piss during the day. I'm always teasing you for years about how often you go to the bathroom. Well, I mean, when I did drugs with Ari, Michelle, and Gary, I think I pissed probably 60 times that day. So I think you gave me shit about that, but that was well warranted. Mm, yeah. I don't, for some reason, when I did all the when I did the Molly and mushrooms the next day, I was just pissing like every 15 minutes. Just generally wrong. speaking, you piss a few times in this building every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That yeah, strikes yeah. me as like odd. I've pissed here five times since we worked here. What? In three yeah. years. And an emergency shit once. Oh, uh, dude, I poop in here. I'm saving mine up for maybe mid break show. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Say, I don't know. I'm f- I'm poop f- I'm poop responsible. I was I gonna like say it. fiscally responsible, but it doesn't work. I'm an idiot. But when it comes over me now, it's like immediate. Like it has to, like So when you piss you have to piss. From from the thought to having the piss really bad sometimes is thirty seconds. From the oh thought. god, it's coming out. It's just everywhere. So I was like, ooh, I gotta yeah, pee. It's everywhere. I, go, oh, I gotta pee a little. I, I guess I'll pee when I get to Ralph's was my minor thought. But then Get over the it consumed you. Christine, can I have the afro, please? It, uh, oh, it dude, feels, here you go. Yeah, this no, is I'm a all problem, shut up. dude. I'm all closed this up. I'm talking all mouth. Your, this is what happened when you got your nose waxed, dude. No, 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 please. Yes, this is my first bottle of Afrin ever. No, no, no. This has been a problem for a long time. It's, uh, I'm hyper addicted to Afrin. Yeah, oh, dude. Family guy, one of the best jokes. The in the nostril gets all and it shuts. All right, so anyways. <laughs> so from Pedix, from concept to piss. Well, what's happening is I go, I got to piss when I get to Ralph's. And I'm, I go, it's only two blocks away. I'll be fine. Then I'm taking this, these baby steps. And it's taking forever. What's that? What is that? <laughs> from your gift. Oh, re- oh stop it. No. Um, Jacob's trying to pay me for heroin now. Come on, Jacob. You know you pay me. <laughs> Jacob, did you just try to do an opiate payment right in the middle of a story? We did. Yeah. I mean, you would get killed if you were buying drugs on the street, Jacob. You have no time. What a crazy setup thing to Jacob, do. Jacob, you don't have any... Off. <laughs> I've been buying drugs since I was 14 years old. You have no timing whatsoever. <laughs> for help. That is the worst drug just timing. Plot money. I had no idea what that was for. He goes, this is for the stuff. I'm wearing a wire. I turned on you <laughs> in between shows. I got all hot. Up. So I'm feeling like I got to go pretty bad and take these baby steps. I was taking longer, and I actually get to that point where I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to make it to the pizza place that's downstairs of Ralph's house. I got to piss now. And I see a little like area where I can dip off and piss in a corner. Wait, what? You're just going to go piss in public? Well, I think you are severely overreacting to that. <laughs> but but I, I, I meant into I can it either. Hold it. I can hold it. I don't like pissing in public. I can hold it. If I, I know how long the walk is that you're talking about. and Even in snow. You I can think? hold it. Um, yeah. I piss a lot, but I can hold it. Well, I, I was going to hold it. That's almost my point I'm making. This is weird. Yeah. I was like, I turned, so I turned my body towards the building to be like, I'm pissing in the corner right here. Yeah. But then I did a look around. And it children. was just too early, not children even, but it's like too early in the night that just people and cars keep going by that I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But when I turned my body to the, uh, you know, to the building, I already had that feeling. That it was going to happen, that it was coming. Your body accepts that, like, it almost drops down another chamber and you're like, well, here it goes. We're going to fire this out. Just go and to Sunday. <laughs> making the decision not to. And kind of going, I'm like, oh no, shit, I gotta get to that pizza place. Yeah. Now it's now it's right at the door, and I'm going and I'm walking down. I'm on Ralph's block. I'm there. I'm six storefronts away from where I can go pee. And it's just one of those like, no, it's coming. It's happening right now. It's, this is a it's, it's a bad problem now. And I go, it didn't matter where I was at. I was gonna piss on, on a tree that was just next to a parked car. Like it was not gonna be a good look. It was gonna be yeah. everything about it was bad. Yeah. Things I'd be angry at somebody else for doing, but I was yeah. like, it doesn't matter. I have to do it. And then I reached down without unbuttoning or undoing my belt or anything, and I reached down the front of my jeans and just separating my belt from my body, 
with my hands, it just piss just started oh. happening immediately. Oh, all all inside my fucking pants. Oh, and no. Did you pull it out? And still, it was still got going? it out, and it was still going. So I did everything bad you can do. And like a leaked water balloon? Uh, might as well like, just... Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. It's everywhere. Fuck. This is... Ah, shit. Might as well have just finished the entire piss in my pants, because then also... It's warm as let's fuck, tag right? on, But letting that, let's tag on to it now, like, you know, uh, decent. a decent exposure, yeah. possibly in front of children. Who knows what? It's, it's next to a park. Public pissing. It's everything just, about it was not okay. That's a sex crime, dog. And then I had to call Legion of Skanks and be like, I'm going to be late, guys. Like, where are you at? I go, right out front. I made a... And what happened? I peed all over my pants. I made a sissy. It was a, hilarious. I got in a cab right afterwards. And, you uh, smell like piss. I do not drive you. No, it was hilarious, though. I was on the phone with Dave Smith explaining the story to him. And I go, yeah, yeah I pissed, man. No, I can't. It's all over my pants. I just feel I'm just soaking wet. Just while I'm sitting in the back of his car, this cab's car, he's probably like, oh, shit. Did you see the rear view mirror? Him just looking at you going, thanks. Wonderful. Great. Great, oh, great. By good, the way, start of the shift. Well, good luck. Good luck to you, Mohammed. Um, I've never shit myself uh, ever. I don't think. Oh, buddy. I've sharded for sure, but I've, I have, I've never shit myself. But I, I'd like to. That's why I want to do this today. Was to uh, take some calls if you're out there and you got a story about the last time you pissed yourself or shit yourself or just embarrassingly did something. The only time I've all over yourself, full on shit my pants. Was uh, when I was working for Guinness in 2011. Shit your pants. <gasps> oh, dude. Like, here's one thing. You know, here's the thing you don't realize about shitting your pants. You get poopy butt cheeks. Oh, yeah. Your butt cheeks get, because it gets well, smashed mushes, in your yeah. underwear. So it's, it, it gets, it covers all over your butt cheeks. It's so, like plaster of Paris it gets in there. <laughs> yeah. So I, um, I got strep throat and they gave me antibiotics. And I went to Ireland, and I was like, well, I'm going to Ireland, I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. This is when I was still drinking, so I'm like, I'm going to fucking drink when I'm in Ireland. And I felt fine. Like, the, I took the antibiotics. for Guinness. Yeah. For like two days, I took the antibiotics, and I was fine. And I drank. Right. Just felt great. Felt fine. Came home. Everything went fine in Ireland. Three days after I get home, I get strep throat again. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I took the antibiotics. And they're like, are you drinking? And I was like, yeah, I drank a lot. And they're like, you can't drink on antibiotics. Or it won't work. And I'm like, fine. So I start taking the antibiotics again. I wait till the end, the end of the cycle, start drinking. I'm at the cellar. I eat wings. I'm doing uh, shots of Jameson and drinking Bud Heavies. Jamo? Yeah. That was my combo. It was uh, Bud, Budweiser. Regular Budweiser. Regular Budweiser. Instead of Bud Light, Bud Heavy. It's just a booze bag way of calling it. <laughs> regular Bud. But I would always do Bud Jameson and Bud Heavies. Uh, so I'm drinking I'm drinking a Budweiser and I order Aaron from the waiter. I order, I order a, a, a Blue Moon for some reason. I was like, yeah, let me get a on tap. Let me get a Blue Moon. Trying to fuck a nerd girl or something? I don't know what it was, but I ordered one. And then he brought it to me and I was like, oh, I canceled. I'm like, do you know what? I had to shit. And everyone knows the bathroom at the cellar is the worst bathroom. In. I would never. I've shit there once. Never in my life would I do that. And it was awful. It's a, it's a real tough. Village Underground, best bathrooms to shit publicly. That's great. Well, you get your own private. Little, yeah, you get your own little room. Comedy Cellar, it's very public. It's very wet. It's just a very uh, bus stop kind of bathroom where you're in and out. Yeah, if you got to shit, it's, it's rough. I couldn't imagine that being any kind of good. So I'm at the cellar and I have to shit and I'm dog sitting for Bobby Kelly in Hell's Kitchen. And I think I've, I don't, I think I told the story on, you know what, dude, but not in detail because Bobby's like, what did? Uh, but I, I'm dog sitting for Bobby and he's living in Hell's Kitchen still. And he's like, He's out of town, and so I eat the wings, and then I try to cancel the Blue Moon, and Aaron brings it to me. He's like, I already ordered it. He's like, don't worry about it. You know, I'm not going to charge you for it. So I drink the Blue Moon, and I smoke a cigarette outside, and I get in a cab, and right when I get in a cab, I'm like, I have to shit. <laughs> like, I have to shit. And I, I sit sideways in the cab like this with my butt in the air, because for some reason, you know when you move around when you really have to shit, you can find one position where you're like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't feel like I have to shit right yeah. now. Yeah. So that's what it was. And so it was this weird angle where my bright cheek was in the air, and I'm like, I don't have to shit. This feels great. We, we ride up the west side. We get to 47th Street. I get to his building. He has a code on his building. I type in the code perfectly. He's got a two-story built. He's You're got not dancing around right now? I'm dancing around. Because for me, it's, but I'll it's, tell the you, always, it's the key. Getting the key in the front door to go piss or shit or anything is the time when you're like, I'm not even going to possibly make this. So I don't think I'm going to make that. And I have horrific Ow. I have horrific Ow. butt humidity. Ow. Yeah. You know when your butt's wet because you're sure. about to poop? I have real bad butt humidity. And I'm nervous about the code. So I'm like, I gotta get. I don't know this code. I don't know how to get in, and I have to shit now. And I type in the code, and it goes successful. And I'm like, fucking home free, 
home free. And I get the key in the door. I open the door. Now, I'm dog sitting, and Bobby has a two-story apartment with a spiral staircase. And the dogs are downstairs. That's also where the bathroom is. So I'm like, fuck, I got to get downstairs. A spiral staircase? You should just try to slide down like a fucking fireman. Yeah! <laughs> I just come around. The second I put my foot on the stair to go down the spiral staircase, my butthole got just enough daylight that poop just started falling out of me against my will. And I'm like, no, no, no. I go down the spiral t- staircase. It's a dog gate. I fucking booted that thing off. Like it was like there was a fire. Like I kicked that thing. It's two small dogs. Like, ah, ah, ah. I run to the bathroom, I just pull down my underwear and finish, look at my underwear and my boxer briefs, and there is a racquetball size of shit. Uh. And the dogs are just like, bah, 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 bah. so I took my underwear <laughs> off, and I put it in uh, the trash, like a trash bag next to it, like sure. a, you know, like a Dwayne Reed bag or whatever, mm-hmm. like a plastic bag. And then I stood up and I was like, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, my butt cheeks are all poopy. So I had to take a, I had to take a shirt on bottom shower where I hold my shirt up and just wash my butt cheeks in the in the shower rain. I had that with my dick the other day. Yeah, then, I had to run home, take <laughs> off my pants, wash my dick in the bath in the you bathtub. Feel like an idiot. Oh yeah, because I'm cupping. Water onto my balls and thighs, <laughs> yeah. and then I do soap and soap them all up. Then you realize how hard it is to get off soap while you're trying to Tarzan oh, yeah. fucking water doing, up to your dick. I was doing this. I had my shirt up and I was going like this with my butt in the water, <laughs> making a boom boom. Where I was like going like yeah. this. I was like, oh, I shouldn't was, get it. Why don't you just take the shirt off? I don't know. Uh, it was winter because it feels like you're starting over. Yeah, you don't want to take a whole shower. Yeah, but it was. It was just a simple like I ba- I, I grabbed the shirt and then I just like under the water. <laughs> Like, mm. Let it run over my tuss. Mm, my tuss tuss. <laughs> so the best part was I took the underwear in the garbage bag and I put I put on clean underwear. I cleaned the toilet seat. I cleaned everything, and I threw it all in this in this trash ba- in this like a uh, plastic bag. And then I walked Bobby's dogs and picked their shit up and put it with my shit in the bag, and then just put it in somewhere's trash can. <laughs> oh, human shit! <laughs> it was their outdoor crowd trash can. I'm not a monster. Dan, you hunk of garbage. But that was the only time. And then I. I've told Bobby that story maybe four times. And every, every time, time I tell you, angry again. What, dude? And you're like, yeah, what? <laughs> like we've already covered this. Yeah, <laughs> Jacob, never. I feel like you've never shit your pants. No, you have a perfect track so. record. Yeah, I don't believe you. Came Christine said she never shit her pants. I think, um, or peed your pants. You had a story. You never fr- pissed your pants. You had a story of a friend who just took a hot shit at the train station, though, just like in the subway. No, it was it was worse than that. It was so weird. I was on the train, and my friend got on the train with me, like just right into my car. Yeah, and we're sitting there, and we're going back to Brooklyn, and all of a sudden, she's like. She goes, I have to shit. She goes, I have to shit. It's like coming right now. It's coming. It's coming. And I was like, we have to get off the train. That's we have so to go. That's so funny. Because when you're making eye contact with someone, she goes, it's happening now. It is. No, right now. I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you right now with these eyes. As these wanna... eyes stare, as these eyes gaze these upon are, you. These eyes are connected to the same butthole that is opening right now. These eyes and this butthole relate to the same person and it's opening. They're both open. So I go, I'm like, just hold it. I'm like, we'll get off the train on the next stop. Just hold it. But we're going over the bridge Christina, to Brooklyn. Christine, it's happening right now. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry, Christine. This is a part of me now. It's a part of you now. It was a little... So she did hold it, and we got off the train. And then we're in this, oh. part, of, no, we're in this part of Brooklyn that's just like the courthouse, and there's nothing open. Like, there's yeah. no bar, no restaurant running to. And she just ended up going over to a field and pulling her pants down and just taking a shit outside. <laughs> and we were working, we were working at a place where we had to wear like white collared shirts, and she just like used her shirt to clean up. And Cute black chick too, right? No, I mean no, but uh, she's uh, Spanish. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong friend. Yeah. But, wow. What yeah, a yeah. fucking. If you saw a not homeless girl shitting on the street, though, <laughs> you'd peek was... a little bit longer. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. You no, go, you wouldn't. You go, but Good it was, power. <laughs> she was taking a shit. I'm like, sorry, lady. <laughs> it was a situation in where public? it really was like in the pants or. I would on the think she's crazy. There's no way you could convince me she wasn't crazy. There's no way if I saw a woman shitting in public, you couldn't convince me she's on drugs or crazy. <laughs> if you had a shot, bad luck is just too. If you were gonna shit in public and you had the uh, the shot um, at dropping trowel and letting it come out versus just shitting in your pants. I shit my play? pants. Would I shit you? My, I, I shit my I, pants and I, I walk, think I do too. I walk so. into the ocean and die. <laughs> just, <laughs> just fucking Viking funeral. Viking funeral. <laughs> light, me up, light me up, baby. I uh yeah dude. There's no way I pull down and shit. 
That's too much. She, she I'd rather just shit. For I shit in a tire uh, park. You know, it was like when you can climb the big tire, the monster truck tire. What are you, your junkyard kid. dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Wait, in the tire? I got, I, I, um, yeah, they had those big monster truck tires yeah. that were like half buried yeah, yeah, yeah. in the ground when I was a kid at camp. And I went into, on the inside of the tire, put my back against the <laughs> inside of the tire. And just shit? Just dropped heat. Good for you. When I was Wiped in, with leaves. It was a problem. When I was in seventh grade, I thought it would make my friend Byron and his friend Amy laugh if I pissed my pants. We were what? outside in the summer. I was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if I peed? And they're like, yeah, would you? You wouldn't do it. And I started doing it. And immediately they go, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. And like, no, no. It's like when you're trying you're to be like, funny. Dan, it's going into your sock. I, uh, yeah. It's a bad <laughs> idea now. I remember exactly where it was. It was on the sidewalk. And I was like, well, now I got to go home. <laughs> I slipped around the corner. And I was like, God damn it. I thought that was going to be hilarious. <laughs> it was the first time you bombed. Choke <laughs> nose, tis, 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 anyway. Just stick to voices. This is dumb. <laughs> this is real dumb. That's why your mom goes, Dan is... Uh, do you pee in your pants? Like, I got to write some new material, Mom. He goes, sorry, Mom. I just did a special for the neighborhood. They want new stuff. I was trying to kill it. I got a little uh, went physical comedy this time. She goes, Dan, did you do the beer? <laughs> My mom, Joe, he's like, what would you do? Piss your pants again? I told you not to close with it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Um, oh. What? That noise. Oh, just back of throat yeah. stuff? <laughs> no one's pissed their pants. No one called in A44 Comedy 9. No yeah. one's pissed or shit themselves. Get a the show. You have Fuck perfect, out of here. Yeah, you have perfect butthole control. Fuck out of here. You fucking assholes. Oh, wait. Black okay. Lou's saying it's wrong. People are calling in. Man, I smelled your shit for 22 years. Uh, now you can't smell mine for five whole, minutes. Whole bunch. I'm sorry, guys. Black Lou, I'm sorry. Um, Callers, I'm sorry. Jacob, Let's see, sorry. we have a shit story, Butthole, a shit story, a shit story, a shit story. Now, Hello, by the way, these hi, are, these this are all... is Saul Rosenberg, and oh. I just pissed myself. <laughs> Saul Rosenberg was my favorite drink. We, uh, and by okay. the way, we'll take some of these here, but we got, there's got, I don't like when it's just all dudes. We gotta have... Uh, I don't think girls are calling in to, I mean, I think girls shitting themselves... Christine's friends got the most extraordinary story we've had yet. Yeah, did she also tell you that she was on heroin and lived in the park? We were, it was surprisingly a day that we were not drunk, because right. it seems like such a drunk thing, but we had both gotten off work. Uh, like, I was crocheting on the train when she ran into me. Really? <laughs> yeah. What, uh, crochet? She said her first thought, she's like, this is old bitch crochet. She was she's on like, her way oh, to get Christine. her reading glasses prescription <laughs> changed. Mm, I'm going to watch my, my grandson in a piano recital. Oh, I almost... Nope. I DVR'd my stories. I took a shit in the Central Park ones by the softball fields because yeah. I was super hungover. Trying to fuck a chubby chick? No, I was oh. playing softball for Dos Caminos and I got super <laughs> drunk the night before. That's even sillier. <laughs> I know. And then I had to poop. It was before our game and I was like, I gotta go. And then as the walk over there, the butt humidity, I remember the butt humidity got bad. And I walked, those bathrooms are repulsive of course yeah. it it's is park bathrooms ah dude but I dropped and hovered I airwolfed right over <laughs> and just fucking shit in that park there was a little uh, shit in the park when park. I was a kid the park had a little park house where you can go into but it looked like where you're supposed to go to get murdered yeah where our bathroom our bathroom in the park by my house was like we would lock the door and smoke weed in there when we were like 14 really yeah. there was no door this was like, it was like a Concrete structure than when I grew up. Concrete jungle where dreams were made of. Yeah, and you just kind of like walk through a little half, you know, uh, curvy yeah, the maze. They, your... they made one with a door that shut uh, by my park when I was growing up. Yeah, that was probably smart not to have that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> where I lived, I yeah. have a door that closes. It's yeah. kind of an open thing you can walk through. But a weird place nonetheless. I don't think I ever shit in there, nor would Wait, I. Did the door close? I would assume there'd be no toilet paper in it ever. It's not. There's, there's no one governing it in any way. Well, Central Park actually uh, had toilet paper. Like a lot? No. But a mess. Yeah. And it was just gross to be in there. Yeah, it was real gross. The have you ever... I've, I've, I hate when... I, I've had the few... Even the few times I've had this shit... It's such an emergency when I have to do it that it ends up being in not always the most pe pleasant places. So of the... You know, under 20 times I've shit in public. That That's really true? Under 20 times you've shit in public? And it's I, gone I thought, up I thought, with I, this year. I thought I was being, like, very generous in saying I mean, I've 20. shit in public 20 times this year. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm a dirty bird. But if you're ready to do the thing where... You have to understand, too, I have all this, like... like my me. stupid chains hanging off my pants and a scarf in my back pocket. All these things I have to hold up. <laughs> I never thought so I gotta hold them up so they're not touching the fucking wet ground. It's like you're wearing a jumper. You have to get naked to poop. Yeah. Yeah. My romper. Yeah. 
my male romper. We dedicated a whole romper story. We did a whole episode of that. Absolutely. Should we take one of these shit stories? Sure. Fuck yeah. Um, which we have Doug, who says he shit himself in front of his mother-in-law. <laughs> That's pretty solid. That's pretty was this before so- or well, after the wedding? I don't know if Doug. it was solid. Let's hear the story. Doug, was it before or after the wedding? Uh, it was after the wedding. Nice. So you already locked her up. What do you care? Oh, I, it, well, she doesn't necessarily know what happened, but it was bad enough. It was right around Thanksgiving of uh, 16. I was coming home from work. And it kind of like the subway story. It, it hit me, and I knew it was coming. I was like, I got to go faster. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Fucking, it starts clicking. Driving through the woods. House is around the corner, and I'm almost there. And then I run in the house. My mother-in-law, the nicest lady in the world. She keeps my two-year-old. She's giving me the day's events on what happened. And I'm like, trying, okay, okay, got to go, got to go. And it just starts coming out. Oh. I mean, it's liquid, half solid. So it hits the... Boxers divider. Yeah. It goes down both pant legs. Oh. And she's just sitting there talking to me like it's the best, like, oh, she was such a good girl today. Great. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm like, yep, this is happening. Oh. And then finally get the wrap up. So it's done. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll see you more. Go in my stand up shower where I have a hand washer, sprinkler, and uh, sit in there for about 20 minutes, wash myself and all my laundry because I have to wash out my boots, my pants, and everything else. And she called my wife later. I think something's wrong with him. You need to call and check on him. But he was acting really weird. I mean, I mean, you, it just shows you how polite Southern people I are. I swear to you, beat me. I was going to say that, Southern charm, man. I go, I'd goes, be like, I go, Whoa, like, shut up, mom, pal. I, yeah, mom, I can't. I can't. I can't do this right now. I gotta Linda, go. move. Oh, you fucking Your chatty babies bitch. are the most beautiful babies. Get the fuck out of my way. I gave her apple slices, and she said, Pop, Pop, come back soon. Anyways, he's all, I'm sorry. <laughs> go, go. Okay. All right, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, we've been weaning her off. Oh, God. Oh, that's a nightmare. And then, down, a- and then splits down the middle like that? Doesn't even take the one trail? No, and like I said, it was a... A semi-liquid consistency, so oh. it kind of went went everywhere it could because it's like the path of least resistance. Yeah, when it's got when it's got the borscht consistency, where it's half liquid, half solid, and you're just like, oh god, blah, there goes more solid, but it's all no, liquid. No, no. Um, so. Sam McMahon well, Doug, Doug, thanks for calling in. Thank you. I mean, I, your I, your mother-in-law I has will. to know that you're probably the best person ever. Oh yeah, she's a great lady. But love you guys here in Mississippi. I wish you could come down, but I don't think we have any comedy clubs. So we'll get it together, to it Mississippi. Out. We'll try to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, thank you, crackle, Doug. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Sarah McPants says the only time she shit herself was when she had the worst food poisoning of her life, and she was already in the bathroom vom- vomiting. Get I should get a pass here. for that. You do get a pass for that. Also, McPants, that happened to me in fucking January when I got the norovirus. Me and uh, Kurt Metzger had that back to back weeks where I shit myself from bad food coming back from playing basketball in Astoria. Oh yeah, the ABA. Yeah, and I shit my shorts uh, with awful, at, at my house. Had this shit really bad in the traffic jam. And you then had when a I got home, bit about that. Yeah. And then when I got home, it was like a, it went away for a long time and then when I came back, I just couldn't even make it to the bathroom. I just shit in my shorts. And then let Metzger wear those shorts. And he shit? The next week that we played basketball, they were cleaned and everything, but I was just like, I'm like, they're bad luck for me. I'm not wearing these things anymore. Let Kurt wear them. Kurt, we came back to my house after playing basketball. Then Kurt shit those shorts right after me. Did you burn them? Or did Both you, people shit. I should have retired them. Did you put them back? Him. Did you put them back in the Indian uh, graveyard where you found them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why I let that gypsy talk me into those basketball shorts. And why did a gypsy Lord, have basketball shorts? What if I told you that what you have is the most haunted pair of athletic shorts known to the Western Sioux? For in Lakota Nation, there is a story of a wolf that shit his own fur. You can't get video of that shit, dude. Don't look the same as it does on a radio show. See a white dude doing a Native American person. Like, oh. um, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's take one more. You call it out there. Who do you want to take? I don't I don't look at the call screens, dude. We know this. At I can't all? I can't have my attention fucking. You're very, zapped. very right. I'm um, too dumb for it. Well the problem we have Bull who says he shit himself in traffic, but that seems to be the story. Um you want to take a piss story? Yeah. No, you know what? I like water How sports. How about a Canadian shit story? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Corey in Canada. Oh, sorry. Tell us your shit story. Sorry. Hey, Crackle Crackle, fellas. Crackle hey, Crackle, dude. what's up, Corey? Yeah, so I was DJing for a, a local gig, like a big cabaret. Ooh. And a whole fight just broke out. So I just grabbed my gear. A cabaret? Yeah. That's uh, weird. A party for money, basically, trying to raise money for stuff. Mm-hmm. 
So I just grab my I just grab my mixer. I'm like, no, I'm out of here. As I'm driving, it's like minus forty in Canada, which is about minus forty in the states. That's how cold it is. Yeesh. And my heater stopped working in my vehicle. So you're just driving fast, but it's cold. Exactly. And the faster you drive, the colder it is. And I'm like, oh. So no. you shit yourself for heat. God is shit. Um, I can see see the town where I'm trying to drive, try, trying to get back to my own place, and I'm like, please don't shiver. Shiver, don't shiver. shit. It's coming out. And then, like, solid tapioca pudding. Aye. Just out. Wait, so wait, that hold on. Oh, Corey. Home, that little shiver. Hold yeah. on, Corey. I want to make sure of something. So when you got so cold that you're like, Brr, your butt was like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Really? Just from a shiver? <laughs> Just from a shiver, buddy. I mean, I get a cough. It was, ooh, it's nippy out. Brr. Yeah. Oh. How do you do something adorable and then shit? You go, mm. oh, God See, damn it. Oh, it's so shivery. Oh, God, what have I done? Mm. Mm. So chilly, willy. Oh, God, my butt's so open. Oh, and Canadian shit, you know, that's full of all kinds, like venisons. And, and Tim like, Hortons. Just, just deep, dark meats. And and robust coffees. <laughs> robust coffees. <laughs> and syrups. <laughs> uh, thanks for the story, Corey. Um, sorry to hear that. And we will, uh, let's take our first break. What Fine. do you think about that, Dan? I feel like Jacob's bullying us into it, but. Oh, yeah, he's always bullying. When we come back, let's talk about you doing fucking experimental drugs, dog. Yeah, we got wild with it. Um, yeah, this will be a caller. I think this is a good caller, um, topic, too. We'll come back. With. And again, if you're a woman that wants to bang Jacob, the bonfire. Uh, at SiriusXM.com. Also, if you have a fuck video that you want us to guess the music to, The Bonfire at SiriusXM. The Bonfire. And of course, <laughs> Billion Season 3 premieres Sunday, March 25th. How about true. that? It's true. Uh, so much fun stuff going on. We have Moon Tower coming up April 20th, 7 p.m. at Antones in Austin, Texas. Then, if you're in Nashville, check out Jay April 6th and 7th at Zanies. And then he's going to be at um, Caroline's on Broadway the first city of May. That's right. First Dan- city of May? First week of May. I'm a fucking idiot. First city of May. Um, BigJComedy.com for tickets. Dan Soder at Helium Buffalo Thursday, April 5th through April 7th. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows at DanSoder.com. We'll be right back. We're hanging with you. Hiss the bonfire. Ow! And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, it's a trippy, trippy Tuesday. Oh, it's good. Oh, the bonfire. It's good alliteration. Yes, yes. Oh, man. It's I'm a just, trippy Tuesday. I'm just here up on my opioids, just hanging. Comedy just Central hanging Radio. And hanging and banging. <laughs> See, that's great. Oh. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95, Big Jokers, and Dan Soder. We got right. Lauren in New Jersey on the phone who says Lauren. she pooped. Lauren, you pooped? Everybody poops, turns out. But Lauren's got her story. Lauren, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Was this yesterday this happened to you? Yes. She goes, what if I told you it happened right now? <laughs> well, actually, there is a more recent story that happened when I was coming back from the stand seeing you guys. Four-alarm grunter? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so my top pooping story, because I have a couple. Wow. Top nice. pooping story. Yeah. Serious, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All the shit. <laughs> 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 um. Top story was actually when I was younger and I was at a summer camp. Me too. And I um, I was probably like six years old. And I had a bad ice cream sandwich. Lo and behold, cleared out a pool. No, no. Like, what? Wait, hold on. In, you shit in the water? Like I a, shit in the water, You yeah. inked? You inked like an octopus? I inked. <laughs> I inked. <laughs> they go, yeah, oh, really? It came out like that? It came out like that? didn't come out in the log? It wasn't a floating log? It was like, just like a... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the New Jersey Lauren gets scanned, she can ink her way out of most enemies' grass. It's a little flaky, though. There's little flakes in it. Oh, That's yeah. That's gross. Oh, yeah, you definitely got to go through with the pool trimmer. So you cleared a pool. So, yeah, I was pooping in the pool, cleared the whole place out. They had to drain the entire pool. Oh, my God. Closed down the place for the day because I had to, like, literally 
like sanitize it. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> they gotta pour some bleach in that motherfucker. I don't know to feel bad or to, or, or to love it, Lauren. Were you like a, a, a super hot chick like growing up through your life? Because I want you to know. That's what makes it more like you're like, yeah, take that super hot chick, deal with that <laughs> shit story of your so life. Funny thing, or are you someone where or are you someone here where we go like, Oh, I feel terrible that Lauren pooped in the oh, pool. Oh, oh. <laughs> kinda knows actually sort of who I am. Um, from going to the stand all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I frequent there with my husband a lot actually. <laughs> Who do I? So, um, I'm sure, you've, you've I talked to him, Jay. You've actually talked to them I'm in the sorry. crowd. He's yeah. a DJ, and you've talked to him. Yes, yeah. In your crowd works taping, we were like the table of DJs and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. So we went to the live bonfire. T- oh, yeah, she's we, lovely. Yeah, I mean. Well, thank you. <laughs> so after when you was there any sort of social pen, penalty from shitting in the pool like that? Did that story follow you? Because that's the one oh, where that's God, like a yeah. that's like a drug rap. That's like a felony. Yeah. Part of the oh, Duke so, of Pools. <laughs> What's up, Duke Pool? What's up, Pool Duke? Yeah. You said you said what? Yeah, I was pretty haunted by that for for a while. Like, I really, I couldn't set foot back in that camp for like a be- the better part of like a week, and then finally I did. And like, I was pointing fingers another, at me, laughing. And- then another kid hung himself, so I showed back up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's also the thing, though. If you're smart, you play that smooth. Like, if you know, when Lauren being a cute enough chick when you're younger. If you can get past it and be the one person who talks to her, goes, I don't know, I don't care. I think you're so sexy, it doesn't really matter what you do in that pool. And she's like, she's going to jump on the first dude who compliments her after that. Yeah. Because all she's getting is like, what's up, pool squirts? Hey, Swamp Thing. Yeah. You're going to fucking shit again? Yeah, what's up, fudge gun? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, look, it's a poop shark. It's a northeastern poop shark. Um, so that was the, that was obviously your worst poop story, right? There's not one. That was what's, the, what's the one leaving our show? Um, after having a, oh God, I was, it was like a day of walking around and we were in Times Square and I needed like a milkshake. Oh boy, and that's dicey. Milkshakes <laughs> are fucking, shit your Milkshakes with. are what made me, I'm telling you, me and Rob Mayu in Chicago, Yeah, we were leaving a place. Yeah, yeah, no, RJ yeah. Grunts. Yeah, you said you got a milkshake to go. A little piece of milkshake, I'm telling you, that's the kill. I don't know what the fuck it is with milkshake. Dude, I know. It's not ice cream. I, I know. eat ice cream. I love ice cream. I've drank milk. It's milkshakes. Milkshakes are poop starters. So you had a milkshake. Where did you have a milkshake at, Lauren? Um, oh God, it must have been like, I think it was like Ben and Jerry's or whatever. Oh, those are good milkshakes. Worth it. Yeah. God damn, those are worth it. Double fudge. (laughs) It's so worth it. Yeah, double fudge brownie milkshakes. I'll fucking poop my brain. Almost worth losing a pair of your best slacks. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe some unwrinkled dockers. I'll fucking (laughs) throw those to the milkshake gods. (laughs) Um, so I ended up, uh, having one of those milkshakes Obviously, you guys know it. Like, they're super friggin' creamy, super rich. Like, they just... Super poop They're really... They start your engines. <laughs> I like to say that creamy and rich is such a great way to, way to describe shit also. <laughs> yeah. How would you How would you say your stools are coming out? Like, uh, like firm, soft, like creamy and rich? And bold, bold in flavor? <laughs> <laughs> Saltier than I'd like, but, you know, better than not salty at all. Seasoned, home-cooked, <laughs> creamy and rich. <laughs> Creamy and rich. Oh, you know, creamy and rich, ultimately, as I guess how I'd ultimately describe it. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Um, wow. So, so had so you- one of those, ended up at your show probably like an hour or two later, and you know the stand bathrooms, like they're small. Yeah. Kind of the same way that the cellar is. They're very public. Yeah, but like you're also it. being stared at like- by 15 different comics over and over again. Oh, that's the upstairs bathroom. If you shit upstairs, you are taking that into your own hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've always wanted Joe Matteris to watch me Oh, my shriveled up dick taking a dump in public. Is that a young Mike Vecchione watching me poop on this toilet where there's heat coming out of the water? (laughs) Yeah. Where your balls feel warmer because the heat from your shit in the water? No, but I mean, have you peed in the stand bathroom upstairs recently in the winter? I think so. The heat is under the toilet. It looks like the heat's coming up out of the toilet. Oh, really? That's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it like, that ha- like that road hazy thing yes. you have to see through, like Kung yeah. Fu's coming over the ledge? <laughs> yeah. So did you shit upstairs or downstairs, Lauren? So, well, I didn't actually make it to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Judah did a guest um, so set and you stayed and watched. throughout the whole show and was like, oh, no, I'm good. Like, my stomach's okay. Like, I'll just take a tub and be fine. Well... The whole ride back to Jersey from the city, 
I ended up having to shit on the side of the road oh. <laughs> and using little friggin' like tissues, like those little Kleenex tissues you get like in those little baby packets. Yeah. Your husband's driving you? Just, like wipe up. Your husband was oh. driving? Oh yeah, of course. So he's driving. That's so a good husband, man. The side of the road. Why does he just go to a gas? Why does he just go to a gas station? Now, are you guys in a relationship? Did you hide that from him, or were you just like, hold my hand so I don't fall while I rip a shit? <laughs> <laughs> He knew how bad my stomach was hurting, and he's like, he was telling me, just like, go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> man. Do we just get cut off? Do we just get cut off? Yeah. Now we're hearing ourselves now back. Hearing ourselves back. Just the whole you, thing's bizarre. It's bizarre. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, AJ. Hey, I, I love you. I love you. You love me, too? You love me, too? Yes. Which, hold on. Which Jake can I talk to? Can I talk to? Wait, why am I repeating? Hey, Dan from the future. It's Dan from the past. What happens now? 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 <laughs> DMT. What happens now? Dude, I shit my pants now? at an Amco station because I ate hot wings at a Hooters. I told that story, though. At an Amco station? Yeah, Amco, the gas station. I haven't had a ton of, of public shits, man. This, but like, the Hooters, the Hooters waitress was like, do you want wings? And I was like, let me get spicy. And she goes, how spicy? I go, how spicy can you make them? And she <laughs> gave them to me and I ate them. And we were supposed to go to a house party. We were like, too spicy. And then we were leaving. I was like, you got to pull over this Amco. And I shit. And then I had to slide my friend $5 under the door for him to buy me Pepto-Bismol. Because I was getting ripped apart. That doesn't work that fast, though. No, I didn't know that's that. More, that's more just like placebo. Guess had- You're hoping that it's like maybe the chalk will help my stomach, that chalky it, taste. It was enough to get me home to where I could shit at home more. Yeah. But uh, they went to a party, and uh, these like two girls from another high school stripped. Oh, Don't you yeah. even have a terrible, terrible shit pain, and then when you get there, it just feels like a little like a watery squirt? Yeah, but when you... You're like, that was all of it? That was all the pain? Man, I had that with farts in... Uh, I had Cookout in Nashville, which is right across the street from the Hutton Hotel where you're staying. Mm-hmm. So I had, it's like fast food, and I had some Cookout on Thursday right when I got in there, and then Thursday before the show at Zany's, I was like, I got a shit, and I locked yeah. the door, and it was just a toot session. I don't like eating before I perform. I'll do lunch, I, like this, way early in the day. I, way early in the I had day. A, I, no, I had a late lunch. I had like a... I got in at like four, and I ate at like No, five. I can't eat at four. Can't do it. Four right. is too late for the show for me. <laughs> I just know I'm, it'll, it'll be, I'll be thinking about it. Yeah. I'll make myself have to shit by psyching myself out into it. But that's actually a good point because I usually eat lunch pretty early on show days and then and then I don't eat till after all the shows are done. Well, I wake up every day. First things first, I go take a smash. Hard, <laughs> heavy, lay it out there. Then start living the day. Then if there's going to be a lunch of some sort, of, then you have that somewhere in there. Then... <laughs> A re shit. Wait, you do two? Oh, right before the shower, yeah. Wow. And a little something always comes out. A little something. Dude. Sometimes enough that you're kind of like, it's going to change the course of the day. I'm happy that's out of me. Yeah. That's crazy. Why? Because I, I have one shit a day in the morning. That's impossible. You have to shit know. right this minute. Not not anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? How'd you handle that? I don't know. This is gone. Yeah. Jesus Christ loves me? Because <laughs> Jesus Christ God accepted my Lord and Savior? Because <laughs> Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And ta- <laughs> Why do you think? Because he takes my pain away? Oh, right now there's probably only one set of footprints in the stand. You're like, what's going on? Is Jesus taking a shit? He's uh, like, no, he's holding me while I have to shit. I did a split weekend with uh, Beth Selling at Zany's, uh, who I'm buddies with, and we took a, uh Uber back to the hotel after the shows, and we got in, and the lady in Nashville had um, Sirius XM on, but the gospel station, and then just didn't move it. And so we're just like, so, we're just like having like these car conversations. She's like, oh, that's a good one. And it's like, take our faith. And it was, it, was, it, was odd. it was very odd. It was very high. Blaring. And blaring. And I was very high. It was late. And it felt odd. That's so weird. The guy that was staying with, uh, or the guy was performing with me in Liberty, Ohio. Yeah. Was staying. He put himself up at a hotel. He came to open for Name's Reese Leonard. Funny kid. Yeah. Uh, really funny kid. He came up to do the gig and he put himself up at a hotel. Mm-hmm. The quality and days in one of those like ones love them the lower level ones yeah you do love them no well, stayed at a days in near the albany airport is one of the yeah. most afraid i've ever been in my life there are guys there was a guy two doors down definitely doing math yeah meth and just screaming the n-word at the top of his lungs two of the worst hotels i've ever been a part of were and both with christine one time right before the first carson went his first game okay we were down in Philly because I was doing Oddball that day. Yeah. In Philly. Okay. 
So like, why don't we go down there? We'll watch the game somewhere early. Then do the show. It wasn't a home game. It was away, and then we'll go to the oddball tour. Let's go down and get a hotel anywhere, right by my mom's house. Whatever. Let's get a hotel room. It was like a Super Eight or one of those. Oof. Like, it's just fucking. That's dicey. It's a dormitory. Yeah. Like, they put you in there. There's no, there is nothing. Yeah. It is a bed. It is maybe a like chair, but like a chair chair. Yeah. Like a kitchen chair. Not like a comfortable chair. With a desk and like that's it. <laughs> I did when I did a small it. TV and a shitty shower, but like not, it, it's like cold and uncomfortable. Yeah. And then the one we stayed at when you picked us up to go to the Eagles game. That wasn't a bad in San Fran the rooms. Yeah, oh no. That hotel was fucking insane. Really? Yeah, that weird airport hotel. I used the bathroom. It seemed very nice in the lobby. It was fun. Now, when we got back the, that night, there was it was like Halloween some too, though, wasn't it? Or some shit. Everyone was like dressed up weird and glitter, and there was girls with their like, nips hanging out Ooh, in the hallway. It was hey. bizarre. When I, uh, I think it's definitely like, you know, it's an ho- airport hotel, which are real hooker friendly, I Fuck, think. yeah, they are. Well, idea. that Albany Days Inn was next to the Albany Airport. Yeah. And that was really, uh, when I were, when I did that show with Lewis and David, that strip club in Detroit, we stayed at a Red Roof Inn that was dicey. Yeah, you can Red Roof, man. That's like it's either boy. If you get a Red Roof, you get a Red Roof uh, quality or whatever it is. The top level of Red Roof. Sometimes they're nice. I Look, I don't need a W. Floors. That's what they had. This one didn't. This one still had the old carpet. I don't need a W, but I mean, I definitely need a court. I need a Hilton Garden Inn. I need a courtyard Marriott. A courtyard Marriott. I'll do an extended stay. I'll do a fucking Me runaway too. teen. Me too. Give me a kitchen. Absolutely. In fact, I'll oh. take. Ah! Okay, in fact, I'll go take. To sleep. I'll take, go to sleep, Dan. Just play your PlayStation. I'll take a less fancy room, but um, big TV. Ooh, a bigger TV. I will I take. Don't go too fancy. Anymore. Private room, back of the hallway where I could smoke weed without any fear, over a big TV. You're like, I'll take private jet <laughs> with girls on it whose job is to suck your dick. Beautiful women over that. Begging <laughs> over what you're saying now. Well, we got a guest coming in at seven. Do you want to just take our break now? Let's take our break and we'll come back and we'll talk about uh, to, just to tease it a little bit. I took a, I guess, what would be considered a micro dose of DMT this last weekend. And um, what are you looking at? Do man? you want to do that? Of course. No, yeah. Can we do saying. both? Yeah. We have are, an hour of show left. You're an hour of show left. Dude. I'm just teasing what we're going to talk about. So I want to bring Fight that up. Uh, I bet, I'll tell you what. Um, one of our guests, we have two people coming in. Yeah. One of them, I don't know who's, how much he's going to know about uh, DMT, but the other one, I yeah. best heard some stories. Cause, we definitely listen to the music for it. And uh, we'll come back and talk. So I'm going to tell you about my experience uh, when I come back with microdosing DMT, everyone. Did I find Jesus? Did I find nothing? Did I told you? Find yeah. out when he's, we come back. He's already got my back. Only on the Bonfire. There you go. All right. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. It's the bonfire. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Uh, our guests uh, hanging out with us today. Well, first, I mean, we got to like, give... I mean, Merc Face Andy returns. That's fucking oh, always oh, so oh. nice. So lovely to have him here. Welcome back to the fold. Thanks, fam. Um, <laughs> but... You, can I, you know what? You can take him back out now. I don't like that. You can listen to Andy with his co-host. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the Nick is Right tour that starts this Friday, March 16th at the Clayton Opera House in Clayton, New York, and Saturday, March 17th at the Wood Theater in Glen Falls, New York. Uh, you can listen to the Nick DiPaolo Show weeknights, 8 to 10 p.m. on Faction Talk 103. It is, of course, the hilarious Nick DiPaolo. The legend. Cool. The legend. Sounds like Haleyman in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Yay! kids? Hey, uh, you're starting a tour, an all theaters tour. Yeah, look at that. It's you know, like people in Canada will be able to hear my voice at the first two <laughs> outside. But uh, it's a lot of upstate in Pennsylvania and uh, Massachusetts, yeah. Vermont, New Hampshire, Northeast. All the counties that Trump won. <laughs> yeah. 
You going on so, the red the red county tour? A little bit. It's All about right. time. I've been fucking playing to these jerk offs in Manhattan for thirty yeah. years. Yuck. You know? Gross. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, you know what I mean. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> uh, these fucking soft bellies. And why and why you's not my demographic. Yeah. Huh? They go now do you feel like when you say cut the head off Rosie O'Donnell, you mean figuratively <laughs> or literally? Because literally I can't handle that. <laughs> Which one brings the most blood? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was excited you were, that uh, Andy was coming in with you here because I know I'm not sure of your drug history or attempts or whatever. Um, but I mean, like you know, with, with as far as like psychedelics and things like that. Oh uh, no, go. I feel like Nick's drug use is mostly like uh, coke off his finger to, before a fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nick's yeah, got yeah, re- yeah. Nick's got real like I'm gonna That's fucking gas show. this dude up. <laughs> Dan's got me. Back. Well, I so. took I took a bite of an edible. I told this story a couple times. Oh on yeah, our show. yeah, yeah. A corner of a bite of because somebody said to help me sleep. Yeah, I hadn't smoked a joint literally since the early nineties. <laughs> yeah, and I, I know it's kicked up a notch, as Emerald would say, since then. Sure. So then somebody sends me this edible. Uh, my wife's friend who has a company, you know, I take a bite of it and like a typical rookie, 35 yeah. minutes and I go, this ain't doing shit. You and so my mom so th- pulled the same move. Yeah. So then I take a bite like it's a Zagnut bar. <laughs> 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 Next thing I know, man, I'm watching my 51 inch screen turn in, into fucking 13 inch black and white. It's a mile away. I start to panic. Right oh. upstairs, I go in an empty bedroom, <laughs> and I'm staring at a goddamn clock radio light, and then I just totally fucking ran upstairs. My wife goes, how you doing? I go, not too good. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bed, like, fucking holding her hand, but it wasn't really my wife. It was a woman. It, it was my house, but it didn't feel like my house. I was disassociated from every... It this was, is from fucking weed. If you're Edible telling me weed, this, that's, a, was, that's a real reaction. When you're telling me. me this, I'm like, I want one of these edibles so bad. You know who You know who I gave the rest of it to? Fucking Metzka. I saw oh, with yeah. the stand. He's, you know, oh, yeah. It's fucking hilarious you put that out there. Kurt's got a great joke about that. Like, people always want... To the give drug. to him? <laughs> no, the drugs that someone goes like, it was too much. I was freaking out. It was too much. He goes, real drug people always go... Let me get some of that one. <laughs> when he's saying this like this, like, oh, man, I have been slapped sideways like that he's in years. Joke, he's got a joke about uh, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, yeah. He's said doing drugs. He goes, that's a shame because he was such a talented guy. He goes, but the good news is there's probably a really awesome strain of heroin named after him now. He goes, yeah, you got that PSH? <laughs> <laughs> you got that shit to put him down? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, I can't handle that. Sh- I can't believe you guys. Edible someone sh- tells me weed's mega strong, it makes me want to stay away from it. It not, makes me want to buy as much. Much as I yeah, can. Yeah, so do you. Real, uh, real problem. Well, you buddy. had a rough upbringing. Yeah, it's understandable. No, really, it patches up all the fucking <laughs> holes. It's a real sticking your finger in the dam. Were you ever into um, psychedelics of any kind, mushrooms or no fucking acid? Never nope. even tried it. No, nope. just an old fashioned coke guy. Like, uh, <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> but, uh, I, love the, I mean, you know, I was yeah. in my twenties and the eighties. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, the fact AIDS didn't have a name yet. No, exactly. I, yeah, I, it was I just in the band played on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. I went into uh, Joker's Wild, the club that just opened in New Haven, in, like, you know, the early 90s. I go in the men's room before the show. The owner, the owner's mother's in there. She's a 72-year-old Sicilian lady, snorting coke with a state trooper. He's still got his fucking suit on. <laughs> what? He had his outfit. He's in his uniform. Miss anyway, Norton right. Coke. Oh, I'm going to go pull over some black guys. Goes, I'll be right back. Is that illegal? Yeah. He goes, it's all right. Thanks, Mrs. O. Mrs. O, you're <laughs> the best. <laughs> By the way, your, your fucking baked fazool is the fucking yeah. best. Your pasta fajats is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Tell Beaver I said hi. <laughs> he goes, also, oh, hold on. I need to stop by the faucet real quick. <laughs> Put some water in there, you know, wash it out. All right. Ooh, I'm going to go drive so fast. Yeah. How prevalent, at those like Fish and Grateful Dead shows, yeah. how uh, prevalent is Coke still in there? Is that still a Coke world at all, or is it all like trippy yeah, shit? Yeah, it's everything across the board. Really? There's really? people yeah. on blow watching jam bands? Yeah, that totally. doesn't make Have sense. Have you ever done Coke and see music? It's great. Yeah, but Coke, <laughs> Coke with a jam band? I'd be like, come on, yeah, get to the point, the, get to the point. The band Screwdriver. Yeah. But you know what yeah, is, let's though? never stop playing. Let's never stop playing. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to stop playing at all. Wait, never... power! <laughs> One, two, three, four! You're like, fucking hearts will explode. That's a large drinking crowd, though, too. So once you're getting into the cups, you do a little toot, and you're right back in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it levels you off. There's a lot of blow. That's dangerous. There's a lot of blow. Too big to happy. Just when I said I want to start, I'm going to start calling weed uh, taking hoots because yeah. I saw someone say that about crack on an intervention. Like, you want to take a few hoots before we go to my mom's house? I'm like, that's a great word for it. Yeah. You want to rip a few ho- hoots? 
Buffett's. I bet there's a lot of blow at Jimmy Buffett concerts because they're drinking yeah. a lot. And they need to fucking. Definitely. That's that generation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. I just gotta, people doing coke, but they're wearing like pastels. Yeah, a lot yeah. of pastels. Yeah. yeah, neon corduroy shorts or teal corduroy shorts. Just a lot of blow. Bloody nose on a palm tree. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me wipe this off with a parrot on my shirt. Now the parrot has a bloody nose. I've transferred my bloody nose to this bird. Well, this weekend, I gave it a whirl with. Uh, DMT. Now, DMT is supposed to be the chemical in your brain that's released before you die. That's what I've heard. Is that right? And when you dream. Yeah. And when you dreamed, apparently. Yeah, let's fuck with that. <laughs> let's smoke that. Jesus well, Christ. Well, again, like any drug like that, there's yeah. testimonials of people going, geez, I'm like so coffee. You're all fizzy? <coughs> that's a side effect. I have a scratch of DMT. <laughs> yeah. He's, Maybe. But I um, took it very like... I, I, Kurt Mesker was describing it to me with such passion. Now it's changed his life for the good and all the amazing things it's done for him. And <laughs> what does it look like? Is it powdery? Is it elite? Like It killed Barry Crimmins. Yeah. <laughs> you smoke it the same way you smoke meth. Yes. You get a meth pipe <clears throat> and you put it in the bottom and it's a... Uh, yeah, it's like powder. You have to smoke it? You don't have to smoke. I'm not sure. That's the only way I've ever seen it. I put used. it in pancake batter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've you never seen it before. You tell your wife she's going to see your grandma. You go, you want to see my grandma? She died in 87. Yeah, well, I'll just it, eat the pancakes. What did it look like? <laughs> I've never seen it before, but it looks like little, like, Coke or heroin, I guess, like a little powder almost. Here's my here's my problem with that. Mm -hmm. I get too nervous, so if someone shows that, I'm like, that shit's meth. They're just going to have me do meth, and then I'm going to be all fucking cranked out for the rest of my life. Maybe, but you know... If Kurt was going to kill me, that would be poetic. Yeah. Um, so I took it in a small dose. I guess, you're, I guess you're supposed to do about three times what I did. Okay. Is the old says who? Well, that's the, that's the since official. The, since the old Chinese man with the Fu Manchu standing in the corner. <laughs> that's the official, like, you're supposed to lay back and, by all descriptions, close your eyes. And then your eyes open inside of your body to a very different place. I'm sure you've heard it described, those hippy-dippy yeah, things yeah. you go to. Absolutely. Annie. It's supposed to be Is it opening bigger? you into a new world. But with the microdosing, the idea was like, you know, you, have, you know, it's your first time. You, know, it's like you don't want to get like too too deep with that. You don't oh, want to get into that too much. Is that someone doing it? Mm -hmm. You don't want to get... Is that me doing it? <laughs> Why are you wearing knuckle gloves? Um, did I get the look of a DMT addict before I became a DMT addict? <laughs> yeah, you've been yeah. dressing for this your whole yes. life. <laughs> what, you in an alley there? Yeah. Dress for, for this your whole I'm life. I'm not comfortable with the pipe. i got to be honest. Dress for yeah. the drug you want. Oh, I'm just going to say that. I got you. It you. does, by the way. It It is. <clears throat> you really do feel like you're doing like crazier drugs than you're doing. Yeah. You sound like Hillary right now. <laughs> I really... I, I got, he's got, I got this hot sauce everywhere I go. Is there a pretzel yeah, stick in the back of my throat? <laughs> it's all We're going to take Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Dean's it. <laughs> I took it. It does look like you're doing much. I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say harder because it's a pretty hard drug. It's very intense. Apparently, it's like four minutes. You just go away. No, nope. the micro dose was supposed to be. You kind of know what's going on, but you have that very still overwhelming feeling of calm and good and all this positive shit you're supposed to feel. And I'll tell you, quite frankly, I felt terrible. Nothing. Felt nothing. At all. At all. So you just you sat probably there. had a foot-long cheese steak <laughs> seconds before, and it sucked it all up. No? Yeah, you just ate big, and then you go, are you supposed to do this on an empty stomach? I fucked up. <laughs> Wait, did you have a handler? Did Was somebody with you? A yeah. Sherpa? Kurt well, Metzger, man. Uh -huh. You don't think, isn't that the right kind of stable personality? Yes. Yeah. Walking exactly. you through this? <laughs> yeah, I want to shut my eyes. So you want Metzger to walk you through the most dangerous uh, mental moment of your yeah, life? he's holding your hand. He's got a wife beat with blood on it. Yeah. Like a pair of sandals. His eyes are bugged. He goes, you feeling it? <laughs> shut, ah! shut your eyes and we'll take you to the place. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a fucking. That's a. It's a. You just had nothing. I'm telling you, I think with drugs, I have something. You're special. I, I don't think like I'm special. I don't. Not that they don't hit me. Like alcohol will hit me. I'll you get didn't drunk take and I'll feel enough, shitty. Maybe Jay. No. Very po possible. I didn't take <laughs> it enough. Fucked but. up your speech. <laughs> he, goes, he also struck out. Nick, we don't want to. He had a full blown up. stroke. Yeah, he's <laughs> fought back. He's rebounded. He really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody seems. To be, I'm next. <laughs> I just the people describe these crazy tripped out things. That's what I said. I'd like somebody to call in if you've taken DMT. Please call in and uh, and tell us your experience or so you, good, good, good or bad. <laughs> good or bad. I like to hear the bad ones too. But the people that do it, they it only it lasts. Bad. It la It can't go bad. That, I don't saying. believe anybody that says that with a drug. 
They drugs, all drugs can go bad. That's what scares the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah me too. If I go, if it, if it's something that can go bad, I think it'll go bad for me. What do you mean, like egg salad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I do mean like if there's the option, he goes. No, if you're in a good, happy place, it's going to be amazing. But if you're not in a good, happy place, it's going to go terrible. Then I go. Well, well it's going to go terrible for him. Yeah, roll me out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they go, Nick. You can never do drugs. No, exactly. Uh, no, you can't be docked away from the the land for that long. He, it's one of those things where I would probably, if I were you, and this is just my attic behavior. If it didn't work, I would double down and just do fucking six more hits. Well, that's what Kurt did. <laughs> What's that? Soda. That's what Kurt did. Kurt Kurt yeah. did it like once and he took a little bit and didn't really feel anything oh my God, and then he did nice. like four hits of it and he got the full blown experience from it but the first yeah. couple he was kind of saying they're like I don't really know if this is hitting me yeah no that's <laughs> that's, that's, the, said, that's the I go. guys that said I'm very much thinking about doing it a time to try to find that little four minute pocket you go into is it really only four minutes yeah four minutes yeah but it feels like a long time they don't say actually here. actually by all accounts i heard everyone's like no it feels like it's four minutes um but just things like i, I i'm rooting for a miracle cure for everything that i worry about ails me mentally and physically so i was like oh if it can make me not have my shoulders in my ears 24 hours a day because of stressing over things that you can't control whatever that weird like profound thing you'll find yeah. I'd love to find it but I feel like I go into these things it's called Budweiser <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to lock up at a urinal when another guy walks in I'll just fucking take a bunch of DMT and figure it out <laughs> have an open pee hole but I don't know if my mind <laughs> if my mind ever lets myself get to a point where I'm like looking for something uh, not looking for but where I'm ready to take in something profound where I'm just kind of like Everything Kurt was describing to me sounds great. Yeah. And I'd love to feel that way. However, the whole time I'm saying to him, I mean, but that's just like, you know, not real. Like your brain just did that. You were having a dream, basically, with your eyes closed. Like, that's it. Yeah. I take naps. But he's like, no. <laughs> but he's like, sure, it is like a dream. But it's like, no, it means more. And the things are coming in. And your the expansion of your mind. All this crazy shit. And I'm just like, yeah. I'd love to feel that. I'd love to get over my fears of death and whatever else it is. But, well, they say, but how could it get? And that's it what really it's going to do? do? Well, so they, they use DMT as the active ingredient in ayahuasca, which they're using a lot with like soldiers with PTSD and like yep. people that have like some heavy shit. Yeah. Because they believe like through psych so, through psych there's like a form of therapy. Right. I've been reading but, some of that. Yeah, they're saying it actually is working with a lot of Marines that are coming back uh, fucked up and they're using ayahuasca and they do like a $10,000 thing where it's like three guided trips and they're saying it helps people deal with a lot of shit. So that's why like the DMT and ayahuasca. There's an article. I mean, yeah, ayahuasca, guided trips. I, I, yeah, I I ayahuasca the, yeah. here in America is always bullshit from what I hear. And also. Well, Mike Kaplan for does it happen- a lot and he knows a guy that does like <laughs> guided <laughs> tours. No, I know, but I think that's like the bullshit hipster one. Okay, that you think that's some Williamsburg. Tours. No, you have to go. To like you have to go. That's the problem. Why I won't do it? You got to go sleep on some rag fucking blanket in the middle of a hut in Peru to do the real shit. Yeah, but part of the process is like shitting yourself and puking. I'm like, I don't do that in Astoria. Yeah, pay the, the price. I live under the train. You want me to give you an ayahuasca? Do that on a Tuesday night in Astoria. Yeah, I'll crank up some space heaters and fucking kick you in your back while you're falling asleep. <laughs> oh! Oh, I shit myself. I go, that's you getting over all your trauma. That's part of it. That's your body Just getting rid of the bad. <laughs> Hold on. Shut your eyes and get him to punch you in the neck. <laughs> you are. You, you don't ask him. I, yeah. I have. I Look at his face. I know you. Well, he looks like Matt Hooper. From yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. We said that he had, uh, we called him Murk Face Andy because he has oh, a mercenary dr- face. Oh, mer- <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he looks like for, he works for Blackwater Both and just accurate. clears out villages. Both are accurate. Yeah. Kill for pay. Kill for yeah. pay. Where he goes, if those, women's didn't, if those women didn't want their babies dead, they should have shut them the fuck up. I remember that time mowed down a village with a fucking flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. Napalm. He goes, you know, huts burn real quick. <laughs> that's my drug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've done acid before. Yeah, but not in a long Do time. Do you love it? Uh, I had I had one of those rare. I never had a bad trip, but now I know mentally I can't handle it with anxiety and stuff like that. I don't have the the right headspace because <laughs> you realize worst, now. When, when, yeah, if you come into it with any negativity, so how do you start try a drug for the first time at forty? Then, as what I did, yeah, I don't recommend. And expect it. to get that experience to be like an amazing thing. Although Kurt said it was 
I mean, he really was like, it's been game changing for him. Game, well, a lot. I've heard a lot of people say that, but it's also like, um, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't. There's start. people who burn out on it for sure. Really? There's people that do it a lot. There's a comic he told me he's like pretty burnt out on it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say his name. Todd but Barry. There, but Todd <laughs> Barry. It was Todd Barry. If, I said, if, if, if somebody else said it, I would. I would just, hey, he used hey. to talk really fast. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, he used I to be the God. Todd Barry was the micro machines yeah, guy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You ever walk into an airport and you notice a woman's wearing a thing? And goes, Todd, chill out, smoke some DMT. He goes, What's up, everybody? Hey. hey. You ever have a. This guy over here is doing that thing over there. Quesadillas are crazy. Sorry, <laughs> sir. You look like you've tried Iowa's. <laughs> um, we have Tyler in Canada, so he tried DMT for the first time very recently. Tyler, are you there? You're on with. I am. The bonfire. Hey, guys. Hey. Nick DiPaolo. Mm, Tyler. You did it for the first time recently. Did you go the whole distance with it where you see the shit? Oh, yeah. Sit back, everybody. Listen to this. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this batch of. Uh, it's going to be a bag of nonsensical things that are going to mean the world to Tyler. And I'm not shitting on you there, Tyler. <laughs> I want to find that. I want to find what you're saying. So, but it always. When someone tells you, you're like, are you just like reading like a fairy tale of. <laughs> but this is a real thing. It's like when you're on drugs sometimes, your thoughts <laughs> feel so right and true that when you say it and then you're like, then you come down off the drugs, you're like, I'm a fucking moron. Yeah. I remember yeah. telling people on mushrooms, like, dude, you look at the human skeletal system. It's just like a tree. Oh my God. It's just like a tree. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, I am so dumb. I owe multiple yeah. people apologies. Like a woman spoke to me. She had ruby eyes. Yeah. Ruby oh, eyes. What? That's going to be the name of my production company. <laughs> Shut up. Ruby Eyes Production. Shut up. Tyler, what was your experience? Um, well, it was, well, one thing I, I think would happen, I think DMT is notorious for, you have to do it in a correct way. Yeah, you kind of get a bunch of nothing. There's a, It's really particular. So I'm guessing you might have had, uh, uh, you know, with the, you know, if you weren't sure, but right, I guess. <laughs> no, Jay smoked terrible. Domino Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I think yeah, Tony no, sniffed well, sugar in the raw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, though. It's, yeah, I don't even like, it's hard to talk about because it's one of those things that's putting into words. You, you sound like an ass and, uh, you don't, it's, it's difficult to relay it. But I would say at coming in, I had, you know, uh, not a great view on life in general, and uh, you really kind of. I think a lot of comics would connect with this. You might not feel so great about your views on life, and uh, you sure come out with. Uh, I, like I believed in nothing. Like death is final. That's it. My whole life, and yeah, it doesn't make you feel great, obviously. And uh, I swear to God, you access something else that you don't. I until that point, I wouldn't. I'm like bullshit, and I would have reasoned away why it couldn't be and something that you can't put into words it seems like it's more than reality it seems like it's too full and for you to have made that up just in your mind yeah but I how about just, it's just I, your mind I, playing that's a what, trick that's on what you. I feel it's your mind true. playing a trick on you for four minutes but Kurt yeah. even said that though Tyler well, my friend Kurt said to me the complexity of it it's he's like you can't so explain the complexity of it which is kind of what he said but it's also just this yeah, simple but I'm sure there's no official answer, and he does agree that it's just something that is inside of you, but it's just yeah. like almost like changes the order of like what's up front. You know, what I mean? is that sort of a good no, example? No, wait, say that again. It, it yeah. changes the order of what. A good example. You ever play uh, video games where your guy holds weapons or something, yeah. and you got to keep going into a thing, and so he's going to carry this. Car it's kind of what you carry around all day. Yeah, we all know that like things that we're worried about aren't that big of a deal. There's always a part of you that knows that. And there's a part of you that also thinks it's like, when it's in the forefront, this is the worst thing ever. It kind of changes everything out to be, like the forefront stuff is more of like, your your main thoughts are like the, it is no big deal. Like, you know, it's almost just kind of changes your, if you live on the other end of that spectrum, which is what I do, which is it's everything is sale. horrible yep. and going terrible. That's a good sell. Thank you. Let's do DMT. Right now. <laughs> we got the pipes? Nick, your show's going to be real liberal today. <laughs> Nick gets on air and he goes, guys, yeah, I was all wrong. <laughs> Nick is Right Tour is happening. Um, go get tickets right now at nickdip.com. He's Friday, March 16th at the Clayton Opera House in Clayton, New York, and then Saturday, March 17th at the Wood Theater in Glen Falls, New York. Entire tour runs through May 5th, so head to nickdip.com. Tickets and entire tour schedule. And, of course, his show is 8 to 10 p.m. on Faction Talk 103. Are we taking a break? No. Oh, you said it. We're taking a break. I thought you were throwing to a break. I thought it was a good plug. That was beautiful. Nice. I saw Bennington do that once, and I was really impressed because it's just in the middle of the show. In the middle show plugs? Yeah. I don't know what I have guests on. That's where you got impressed? I'm like, shut up. I don't read this. Well, I mean, he's one of the greatest ones. 
TJ Minnesota said he did it a year ago in college and not since. I wonder. I also wonder if, like, again, I don't know if it's going to be physically addictive like any other drug, but it's definitely, if you think you found some clarity in life, why yeah, wouldn't you go, go back, back to, to that it. well? Yeah. yeah, especially in this shit storm we're in. You're just like, let me unplug real quick, go back to the reality, uh, and I'd be smoking. I'd be smoking it nightly. Yeah, I definitely get the, uh, you know, it's weed sort of as the escape drug for a little bit and just sit and, like, enjoy TV for a little bit. But if something would change your full... Per- if, it, if I just knew there was any guarantee of positivity to it, I'd be so ready to jump in You for need it. Tony Robbins, man. Yeah, you just need a dude with big teeth to yell at you for a little bit. <laughs> Is that the guy who puts me on the gazelle? That's yeah. Tony Little. <laughs> Tony Little. Oh, my oh, God. Fashion guy. Yeah. Fucking yeah. his guy. ponytail and yeah. his fucking it's dumb like, 80s shorts. It's like, guys, I've been doing this crazy cross-country skiing machine forever, and I'm not getting any more clarity on life. He goes, wrong Tony, dude. I oh. meant Tony Robbins. Oh, God, Son think, of a bitch. Tony thought, Lip- you've been gazelling oh, in man. a New York City apartment? <laughs> what are you, you doing? Stubby. With a ponytail and some sick quads? <laughs> yeah. That's all he's got, not quads a cut on him. Weeks. Yeah, the guy really does. He's just all side muscle and quads, and then he turns around. And you're like, ah, oh, he's high least. school coach body. Yeah, it really is. It runs up the sides nice. Gets That's muddy, muddy in the middle. Yeah. High school coaches, they were always like, there they were slim. Tony Leto, yeah, ran Looks it like out. Mario Batali. Yeah, he really does. He's built like a fucking fullback. Looks like Batali getting. Tricked. I forgot he was yeah. built like Mike Allstar. This is how I met Gnocchi. Yeah, <laughs> he was. I like, put it in my little tight shorts. And how bored you get with that fucking machine. Oh my god, you feel like a fucking Absolutely. asshole after three 10 minutes. minutes. <laughs> I like to imagine he takes that hat off and the ponytail goes with yeah. it. Oh, That's fuck what yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's stuck all new. Let me put this on the coat rack. <laughs> um should we take one more DMT person? Yeah, take one more we'll, DMT. And then we'll take a break and then we'll come back. I know you I know you want to what you want to talk to with Nick about we held a story off that we thought you would enjoy. But uh Uh-oh. first uh I'll let you pick, Merc Face. Welcome back. Oh thank Do you. Do you want to... Jason from Colorado. It's going to be a Colorado DMT story. Oof. You have Nathan in New York that's got a DMT story. Or TJ in Minnesota who's got a DMT story from a year ago in college. Uh, Colorado. Colorado? Good, yeah. good choice. I feel like he's got the good shit out All there. All right. Jason. You're on with hey, the bonfire. Nick DiPaolo. Crackle, crackle, hey, dude. How's it going, guys? Hey, man. Um, yeah, so a uh, little story. Uh, first time I ever did DMT... Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was in college too. I don't know about this other dude, but um, I was using one of those like little like ball and stick crack pipes. You know, like one of those yeah. little shitty motherfuckers. That's what we were using. Yeah. So, so I'll be honest. I don't think that's the way to do it. I've heard a lot of stories about the best way to go about this. Um, a couple of hippies that I got it from back in the day. They're like, uh, they're telling me that if you use a dab rig or like a bong and pack it with some weed, that's how you like blast off and cross. <laughs> that's how you blast off. You always want to call it. You want a hist- uh, hippie telling you to blast off? <laughs> That's what they call it, though. You goes, blast make, off. Make sure the skies are clear for launch. You Wait. ready to blast off? They say to mix it in. They say mix it in with weed. Um, apparently, if you do like a little layer of weed and then a shitload of the DMC and then oh. another layer, oh, of let's weed. have kind fun of like a that. drug lasagna. Oh, good <laughs> call! By the way, it's not bad. That's that's a good like a something lasagna, yeah. not drugs. Like something because that's right. what you got to do. You have to name that thing. You know they call it like lasagna. You know, yeah. it's like candy flipping is like some yeah. sort of yeah. weird yeah. way yeah, of getting it's, high. It's god lasagna <laughs> and uh, god lasagna. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Three layer cake, man. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to? Are you ready to Sarah Lee? Yeah. You guys ready to pineapple uh, upside down cake this thing? It's oh, green got, lasagna. Are you guys ready for some fucking Betty Crocker? <laughs> you guys ready to take off into the hills of flavor? Did you, uh, Jason, did you take off into the hills of flavor? <laughs> so I think I was more along the lines of what you had, Jay, where I was like seeing visuals, feeling good, like lots of colors and shit. Um, no, 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 that wasn't. I, I said quite, yeah, I took the micro dose and I felt just a little uneasy for about two minutes and then it was just, not, I talked through the whole thing, I didn't have a problem, but I think a lot of drugs that I'm not, seem to not be willing to do, I'm so afraid of getting lost and just letting go into it that I kind of purposely keep myself, I've never had a mushroom trip where I've seen anything, I've done mushrooms like four or five times, I've never stared at walls and had this whole profound experience, I'm always, it's just like being stoned a little where I'm like, I put on some music or TV and we'll watch something, I've never just like gone into that thing, that's all about, That's all without drugs, is when I sit in a room and stare and think about my life and what I've done, that's always like not drugs. You're always tripping, that's the I secret. never have, yeah, I'm you're always like the, angry. Yeah, you're like the Incredible Hulk. So you did, but you did, you're saying, Jason, had visuals and stuff? Yeah, yeah, for like a couple of minutes, I'm sitting on my buddy's couch just not saying a damn word, but I mean, I'll tell you, you gotta be careful with that shit, because these hippies are like, 
They're like, you know, if you uh, if you blast off, man, like, I don't know if this is them, but they're like, you're going to see Jesus, dude. You're going to, like, talk to God. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't need that right now in my life. But yeah. I'll tell you what, like, that's the spiritual shit. I mean, that's the people who, um, you know, uh, whoever you had uh, talking earlier is like, you know, I gained a whole new perspective on shit. I, like, life was better. I mean, some people, like, have that experience, and they're like, oh, there's something else out there. But... It could just be just your brain playing tricks, like Nick was saying. I mean, that's you know, what it is. I, I, I stand, I stand by that. Yeah, people have DM trips before they die, and you know, people see that say they see God and shit. Who knows, really? But um, how about what if that was like your DMT trip before you die was like your heaven, and then you just get high and you do it, and then when you're dying, you're like, oh, that was it. Oh, <laughs> god damn it, I've been here before. Yeah, and then it's just ruined. Yeah, you ruined like, the movie. It's like you pre a movie. Yeah, it's like pre coming. You're like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, now the load's not gonna be as fun. <laughs> I dribbled some out earlier. Now, now, now all the pregnant. clear projectile juice is out. It's just gonna be fucking white chalky uh, clumps. Oh, I gotta give you clam chowder jizz. <laughs> I just wanted to fucking give you a good mix. White chalky clumps. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, name for your album. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. right. Chucky Clumps. Jason, thanks for the call, buddy. Uh, again, we're hanging out with Nick DePaulo, Andy Fiore. We're going to be right back. Take this thing all the way out. It's a bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, drug Eminem. We miss you. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Back in the fold, the original one of the original members of the band, Merc Face Andy Fiore, hanging Yo. out. And the legend, Nick DiPaolo. Hey, how are you? That's, uh, that means I'm old. Sorry, no, Merc Face. We got a new, we got a new black <laughs> rhythm guitarist. Yeah. <laughs> and he's nailing it. Sorry. It gives us a little more of an edge. He's got an extra bone in his ankle that makes you him play better. You needed a black guy. <laughs> the Nick DiPaolo Show, weeknights, 8 to 10 p.m. on Faction Talk 103. And the Nick is Right tour is starting Friday, March twenty, March sixteenth, at the Clayton <laughs> Opera House in Clayton, New York, and Saturday, March seventeenth, at the Wood Theater in Glen Falls, New York. Entire tour runs through May fifth, so go to nickdip.com for tickets and entire tour schedule. That's this is our weekend. new guy. This is our new guy, Black Lou. Yeah, yeah. I can't even walk the next day. <laughs> he gets all the spots. Uh, a story that came up yesterday that broke that we didn't get to talk about on the show, but I was like, man, I want to talk to Nick DiPaolo about yeah. that. Is uh, uh, Judy Garland's ex-husband wrote a book and says she was molested by the Munchkins. I think I heard that. You heard yeah, that it was before? Yesterday. It was big I news yesterday. He, but I thought... I don't know. Was that like a Hollywood rumor? You're like, you know, the rumors is that Judy Garland <laughs> got digit. Maybe I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good, is it because you knew like a grown up one of the Munchkins? Like, yeah, his name was Little Buster Wilson, and he, uh, I think I met him. He said Nick, something be, about getting a little stink yeah. on his hang on that Nick, one. Nick, sit down. I want to tell you a story. <laughs> so, anyways, there I was, uh, half a fifth in on gin. Judy Garland got lost in the lot. It's funny when you're when you're like a a midget actor and like you say it goes I'm an actor you might be familiar with my work if the person just starts yelling guesses at you you're gonna get one of them oh you go leprechaun <laughs> you like leprechaun. may you see my work he goes oh uh, Wizard of Oz no ah uh, uh, shit uh, by Bad Santa that was, actually, uh, <laughs> that was my acting coach Endor. Yeah. A whole bunch of actresses molested by Munch. <laughs> Hashtag knees, too. <laughs> yeah, knees, too. <laughs> is this did you Judy Garland? Line? Did you hear the line was actually three Munchkins in a suit? <laughs> yeah. thought, shoulders? Well, this entire time I thought this mule was molesting me, but it was all a bunch of little people inside. <laughs> they Trojan horse rape? They would make Judy's life miserable, is what her ex-husband say. Ten man was watching, jerking off. <laughs> he goes, oh, he goes, this is the only way. He goes, this is the only way. This is the only way I can reach get climax. Get it up. <laughs> He's like, if you give me five get more minutes, you give me five more minutes of this, Dorothy, I'll, I'll be able to lube up myself. I'll be able to oil these hinges, no problem. Oh, I love watching those pudgy hands. Oh, they got such pudgy little hands. They'd make Judy's life miserable on set by putting their hands under her dress. The men were forty or more years old. Uh, if I only had a camera. <laughs> they thought they could get away with anything because they were so small. True. I mean, you know, you can't punt That's one. That's what she said. Who said that? Her daughter? No, it's her ex-husband in the book. What's this interview? Is so this, this shit was it? going on back then, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you. Well, you know, it's a dick. It comes with the These territory. These fucking guys. He goes, those dicks weren't midgets. Yeah, exactly. uh, they're normal size. A third of their body weight. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, don't worry. You'll be quite impressed, Judy. Why don't we get you back over there? 
Was one of them the one that uh, hanged itself on set? Did you guys ever hear that? Jesus, you know what? what I'm talking about? That's urban myth, though, isn't now, it? But yeah, but if you watch it at the right spot, you can see like something in the background. It Was looks it like one midget? of the little yeah, the midgets. He hangs himself. You have seen Black Lou backs us up, but he did it during the filming. Scary. Yeah, you, it's in the movie. It's in the movie. Yeah, if Chris, if you can pull it up, just type I'm in. Sure, there's a clip of that. Horny midget. I gotta believe that's a fucking rumor. There's visual proof. Watch the back visual of this. Proof. If I don't see his molars. I'm not I believing. I think I see him. Uh, Lou, point it out. Like between them. It's too blurry. It's usually yeah. Right there's there. a, yeah, I see it. Well, that's a guy that see hung the, himself. Where? Right here. It's supposed to be the ghost Jim of a guy who hung Jim. himself, but it's not real. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, it's uh, fucking. They, is Logan they Paul. It. Is Logan as Paul there? You, as you, as you clearly see, lives jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Logan Paul coming on the in? set that day. Yeah, they're doing auto erotic asphyxiation. Really makes you think, right? He goes, "Remember Logan Paul? Oh yeah. Oh man, this makes you think. This is so real. I heard if you hang yourself right before you come, it's an intense orgasm." And they go, how are you going to do it? Well, right off here, off this kitchen counter. Splooge. <laughs> oh, no. Get your little feet to the ground. <laughs> Splooge. Oh, oh, it makes me come like a real man. A full Constantly load. harassing her seems like a weird thing. Well, I mean, they're probably like just, you know, cat calling her, like snipping up her dress as she oh, walked by. Yeah. Like, ah. There's no fucking HR back then. Uh, yeah. Mirror shoes, Judy. You got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta complain to someone under three feet. <laughs> that's the only way we can hear the complaints. <laughs> oh man, that's gotta be HR. That's too high for me to reach. <laughs> yeah, I mean the fact that she uh, well, she became a up. bitter, crazy old lady. Was it I because mean, Stern of that? played those fucking tapes of her trying to do a book. And it's just her yelling constantly about everything. She well, she was like world. one of the original famous kids. Like she was like a teenager and famous, right? Yes. And then that just fucks your shit. Yeah, up. and you're Seems molested by way. a bunch of little people. Yes, that's like a that's a whirlwind thing. That's a that's a Corey Feldman like cocktail <laughs> for disaster. <laughs> Yeah, but she made these books like later in life. Remember that Stern used to play them all the time, which is like, and then these bastards came up to me. And she talk, always yeah. talks old Hollywood. There it is. She's constantly taking off gloves yeah. to <laughs> slap somebody with. I'll tell you how the weather was. Gentlemen. Is this it here? Uh, is one of her snaps? Okay, we'll figure it out. Tried to get over and I couldn't. So what? Lots of people can. Oh, the tiny hands were inside me. Lots of people. <laughs> I felt like a bowl of candy on Halloween. Oh, these I tiny mean, hands just taking things out of me and putting them inside I'm me. The one who's had you know, Liza Minnelli <laughs> probably should get more credit for his holding it together as she did. Yeah. yeah. Like, she survived. Yeah, dude, when your mom's fucking batshit nuts. She was in some stuff, some legit projects. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she had a shot there. And Judy Garland was famous when there was only, like, four famous people out. It was, like, oh, one yeah. of five people. I mean, that was the first That's color true. film. 1939, wasn't it? Something really? Like yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, ah, 39-ish. So, of course, she was getting molested by little people. They, it was no rules. It was the Wild West. It's a yeah, lot of society, fun. lady. Bend okay. over and take it. I would have figured it was those apple trees. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> those are the ones that look like they're trying to finger pop you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Dorothy, bend over and take it. Big long Further. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bend over further. Yeah. Let's try it maybe on your knees. All right, yeah. Maybe on your knees, like doggy style. Just hand me the no, dog. No, still. Just hand me the dog. Right, hand me those books. Yeah. Hand me the dog. Okay. So lower. No, no. You got to put your... You bat no bend your legs more so you, forget it. <laughs> yeah, there's uh there's nothing to say that this is r real or not. This might just be her ex husband is trying to make money. They had six orgies in the hotel, and what? we had to have police on just about every floor. I believe that. Come I've heard the little I've heard the little people conventions are just fuck sure fests. They are. Adorable. Dude, They're told, around, you know. The one time they get together and they get to exactly. really just uncork Dude. on each other, My literally. Life? My aunt took LSD. In this they come and they both get shot across the room. Hey, let's take DMT. <laughs> no, and I swear to God, this is a real thing. My my aunt in San Francisco took LSD in the 70s and was in a hotel and got off on the wrong floor. And it was a little person convention. <laughs> and she had a rabid fear of little people to the day she died. If it was on, when it was Spy Who Shagged Me, they had Minnie Me, she'd be like, turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. Oh, oh shit. dude. Well, there's uh, another, uh, there's Midgetville in North New Jersey. It's Lou? fake, fake though. Oh, really? Yeah, but it... If you Wikipedia it, there's, there's like little... There's one in New York. Yeah, there's... That's what he's just saying. But, but there's little, even little mailboxes. <laughs> like, is that a real plate? Midgetville. Not real. That's, uh, Jay, that's let Virginia. me have this. 
It's Mid- not real. Midgetville, I think that's where you open a tour. Also known as Tiny Towns. <laughs> I've, heard, I'm saying, yeah, I've, I've heard of a bunch of these so far. The West of Bangla. <laughs> They were drunks, she said in the 1960s. They were, interview. I know that. They put them all in one hotel. They got smashed every night, and the police had to pick them up in butterfly nets. <laughs> so you give them. By the way, that's butterfly. just funny. That's just funny. <laughs> Judy Garland funny. is hilarious. <laughs> she goes, she's probably smoking a cigarette where it was half the drag, where she goes like this. <laughs> They'd get drunk, butterfly they'd pick them up nets. in butterfly nets. <laughs> Bastards, little tiny bastard midgets. The That's star so added that one of the actors, who was around 40 years old, asked her out on a date. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's good for you to say yes, or I'll give you a five across the face. He goes, What if I told you? Is this Midgetville? Miniature cities. Oh, look at that. Do not, do not enter. Even you, teensy. <laughs> tiny town. Really? Look at how cute. Oh, but that's oh wait like, a minute! That's down in uh, Vineyard, isn't it? They have that on. They do. They have that on uh, either Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard. There's a whole. Us, really? Yes. Us bigs aren't They're like to many go there. houses. Oh, yeah. The you, whole neighborhood. It's cool. Oh, man. It's either the Vineyard or, or Nantucket. I go there. I just walk through with a boombox playing the Godzilla music. Bam, 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 bam. And they go, "Oh no, it's a Mothra!" And I show up on the other side in a fucking wingsuit. A was a good. It's a gated community. You just step over. <laughs> Excuse me, security. They go, yeah, hold it right there. We'll get Make the, me. Let's get the SWAT team in a tiny helicopter. I'm sorry. I think these fences are to keep us in, not keep them out. <laughs> Is it the venue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely want to go to a tiny town. Can we take a, a show field trip to a tiny town? Absolutely. It says, uh, someone says it was bullshit. Who is the last surviving Munchkin at 98 years old? That is defying all odds of Munchkin life. Yeah. yeah, that's a long way to go. He said that was a lot of bullshit in 1996 with an interview with Entertainment Weekly. When were they going to party? Even if they did, there were only two or three that did get drunk. A couple of Irish kids. I mean, I love it immediately. Yeah, everything just turns to some kind of some kind of a couple, yeah, a couple little of dumb mix. mix. That's yeah. A, yeah, that's how you what know. What do you expect? Yeah, that's how you know it was a fucking like a someone leprechaun. That's, yeah, exactly. In yeah. training. Hey, uh, many freckles, get over here. Do a shot with me. I will tell you, them a couple of them had Mick blood in them. <laughs> you go, what? I believe two were Negroes. Yeah, he goes, but they, of course, weren't allowed in the hotel, so the Irish ones were there. They were always at the bar. So she never said anything. It was much more her husband said something. Because uh, uh, he's saying that... 90-year-old midget said that Judy Garland was lovely to work with. Yeah. Because, yeah, she partied all the time. She was great to work with. She let you walk around under her skirt. She didn't care. <laughs> yeah, we called it the tent. She said, just keep pace with me so I don't trip over you. I go, I want to be in the tent revival. <laughs> that right there is a quote from her, though. Yeah, oh, that's from her. For an mm-hmm. interview in, 90, in 67 with Jack Parr. Well, well, they were drunks. drunks. They're all drunks. How would she know if she wasn't in the room with them? They were such soft kisses. Lying. Cool. Uh, well, Are they getting rid of Mitchellville? I think so. Yeah, apparently what? it's uh, Goodbye, not there Mitchell anymore. Oh, what? But I told you what it was happened? real, Jay. Yeah. Even tiny towns Oh, it's Ottawa. A slight rainstorm. Destroyed <laughs> <laughs> it. A mist. It's made of sugar. The whole fucking hell this heck. Yeah, he goes, somebody dumped out their mop bucket and <laughs> destroyed <laughs> the entire <laughs> town. Oh, <Yeah>. <laughs> that looked like Houston last yeah. year. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking J.J. Watt. They were up to their necks. Or it's a more mystical thing. They go, actually. <laughs> Just waist high for most of them. A, a local little boy stopped believing. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> His town gets shut down. Uh, Nick DiPaolo, you can hear the Nick DiPaolo show Monday through Friday on Faction 103, Monday through, yeah, 8 to 10 p.m. And then check out the Nick is Right tour starting this Friday, March 16th at the Clayton oh, Opera House in Clayton, New York. And Saturday, and f- March 17th at the Wood Theater in And Glen Fiori Falls. will be open. And Al, Mark yeah. Face yep. is going to be there yes, the whole sir. tour. That's awesome. So the yeah. entire tour runs through May 5th. So go to nickdip.com for tickets and entire tour schedule. Nick. Thank you. Fellas, you guys. thank always. you so much. Of course. Thank appreciate it. Here, man. I'm going to see you I think y'all. next week. I'm going to come hang out on the show. Please do, yeah, will you? Yeah. When I'm Please do. Immediate spot like I always do. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we'll come and hang. Love you guys. Love Thanks. you guys. Bye, Thanks buddy. Bye, Bye, everyone. All right. Thank you, guys. Mark Face, love you. Thank you, guys. Mark Face, get out of this house. This is no longer your home. It's no longer your home. Black Lou, shove him out. <laughs> yeah. Show him. Punch him in the throat as he gets out of here, Thank Black you, Lou. Jeez. Show him what's deal. Thanks, Danny. See you guys. Love you guys. Oh, I know Merc face feels good not having to be under Jacob's thumb anymore. Oh, yeah. He's probably just walked by Jacob and went, you're not the boss of me. He was ever pussy. He said, Jacob, because, by the way, Airwolf season two is better. Yeah, you're a bunch of pussies in here. Airwolf was just something better. Queef. Airwolf was a pussy. Oh, uh, that was fun. Um, 
Yeah, no one. Do no one's abhor me trying DMT in a much larger scale? I don't know. I really feel like it's one of those things, man. If I tried it and I, it would it just. I don't know. DMT is the one. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to try it. Oh I like God. drugs, so I'm tempted to try it. But I just don't know. I really, man. The thing is, is they say it's released right before you die, and so my whole thought process is, is what if that's heaven? No. And then you're just like, I don't want to. I don't think that's the case. But I definitely don't want to like. I don't want to go around telling people like. There was a cube, and then there was a, yeah. bi- a bit of light coming through it, but I knew on the other end of that light... I mean, Kurt's the thing. Like, if I looked over my shoulder, it was like, like... I knew I couldn't look up there because that was God. Like, that's God. I, I can't look at that. You can't look at God. So I had to keep my eyes focused, like, down and move. And I'm just like... So you're, you're this, really you're, you're, this is all ending on this just being like great. This is wonderful and profound. It all sounds ter- it sounds like a David Lynch movie where I'm be- and then a rabbit who has no lower jaw, just long top <laughs> yeah. teeth, yeah, comes out of a closet. And you're like, can, ah! we, can we make up a can we make up a bonfire uh, DMT trip? trip uh, we go. Great. So right now it is a hexagon inside of a Seven Eleven. So you look down at it because you realize the Slurpee machine is Jesus. And that's what's been there all along. Blue raspberry, only a divine creature can come up with blue raspberry. But blue raspberry is... Raspberries are red, everybody. I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you guys all know that, but raspberries are red. And this is blue raspberry. And, and that's so crazy. That clearly means it's your soul. And so your soul is blue. And when you're blue, that means you're happy. And you're still living. But you can't look down. You can only look at the hot dogs. Because everyone knows the 7-Eleven hot dogs are never changed out. Now, they're called big bites. But the bites you take aren't that big. If you take too big a bite, you're going to go through half of it in one shot. So it really shouldn't be called a big bite. It's actually called small, take small bites so it lasts long, but that's not what they want you to do. They want you to buy the one you consume. They say consume, hey. consume, consume, hey. consume. And then I had to find, hey, oh. it's me, Opia Jacob. <laughs> take a pill. Relax. Mellow out, dog. Play the cello by the lake. Just kick it easy. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I thought about doing DMT. <laughs> I also thought I could fight Ben. <laughs> No one can hurt me. Well, uh, all right. Time to make the donuts. And by that, I mean taking receipts out of trash cans outside grocery stores and then going in and returning those products. This is my dog. We get on the train. I ask for money for a bus ticket. I never take the bus. I've never taken quite yet to sucking anybody off, but I've let a few guys watch while I make myself finish. I think the fact that I found this dog's been helping me. I do these shirtless push-ups, and people pay me money. Well, you'd be surprised. I've had some, like, local politicians really give me a couple bucks for this. (laughs) There's some dirty... There's some dirty dogs in the city (laughs) senate. (laughs) The Blasio's a bit of a pound hound, if you know what I mean. But I just tell them... Wipe me off when you're done. (laughs) Finish wherever you want. Just not in me or on my mouth. I'm a library book of a piece of ass. I'm covered about 17% by sores. Uh, Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't want to do DMT. I like mushrooms. I might uh, do it one day when we're in L.A., buddy. You're going to do DMT in in L.A.? Mm Mm-hmm. What day? <laughs> You're back in. I don't know. Go to Kurt's one day. He's. We're all staying right by the same area. No, I'm good. You're gonna try it? No, I'm not. Nope. I don't want to do that. Right, I know. actually have made that decision earlier. Though. Oh, I you don't know where I get. Tea. That's odd that you'll still do mushrooms and all that stuff. Yeah, love it. Because I've done mushrooms since I was a teenager. I got you, but that's gonna, that's taking you to a play a longer, can't get out of it play. This is four minutes. It is four. It won't last longer. It, as, it goes out of your but body. as you said, with mushrooms, I'm used to going up and coming down. They yeah. keep calling this shit fucking blasting off. Well, that's when you close your eyes and you and they yeah. op- they open inside your head and all that shit. No thanks, dude. What are the side effects of DMT use? Let's look at that. I it's like so it. So short. The hey, side effects? We already we're already done talking about the Wizard of Oz. Has <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of a short story. <laughs> The uh, psychological, uh, physiological, 
Physiological. What a jerk off. I'm so glad you tried that because I would have fucking. Physiological side effects of DMT may include dilated pupils who cares, involuntary rapid eye movement. Weird. (laughs) Increased heart rate will terrify me. High blood pressure will make me lose my mind. Coordination problems will make me think I'm having a stroke. Dizziness will confirm I'm having a stroke. Nausea and vomiting. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Coma and or respiratory arrest. All right. I'll do it probably Tuesday. <laughs> I've reported in high doses, but I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not Wait, super worried. So about when that. we do these shows from LA, yeah, the crew is going to be here, yeah, and we're going to be skyping in, mm, yeah. We don't really have to Skype in. Listen, we're just going to hear you guys. Miss seeing our faces. Oh, There's man. no need. What if Jade? No is, need for you. What if Jade is DMT and doesn't want to do the show anymore with you? I am going to be upset if you get Roman and Palumbo. Dan, Roman here's, and Sierra on the show yeah, there. Dan, here's what I found today. Goes the radio is all nothing, man. Well, this is we're radio. already radio, man. This we're already really a satellite. We're already in satellite, man. Jay, we have to do the pre-record for Thursday. Oh, no. <laughs> if we get Roman and Sierra, will you fly out? <laughs> I, you know, I, I might do that. You, yeah. We got to work That's on getting... That's not fair. Let's get Roman and Sierra for the live show you in think? L.A. I'd love to. I mean, we're not doing a live show. We mean live from L.A. We'll be recording. Yeah, we can get... You think we can get them in studio? Any, is anybody making any point of contact with them at all? Black to, Lou yeah, legitimately DMs with Roman. You DM with him? I DM with Roman regularly. So he knows the show. Regularly. He knows the show. Okay. He, does um, he listen regularly? He does not listen regularly. Damn it. He just How listens when people, did? when campers tell him to listen. Yeah. Um, but he is just in Hawaii. I think he's in Hawaii right now with, with her, probably taking her photos. Yeah. Um, but he said that Smell he her, loves that. Her panties he loves that. We got the air wolf, the, the wolf necklace. Yeah. And that he really wants to come on, uh, especially around the time where he's launching his new jewelry line. Cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So he's going to be calling in. Can we kill? Yeah, fuck calling in. He, I, I wanted him to call in before you guys, before you guys went to L.A. This way he can meet up with you guys to go. Yeah. To LA. Can we get zooted up with some jewelry, dude? <laughs> Look at that Bombs. I want, to dress, I want to dress Jacob up so much. Wait, oh, go to the one where he's on the Jeep. Look at his wonderful body. Good for you, Roman. It's lit. Yeah, it sure is. is. Yeah, he... Uh, wait, go to Sierra. I, I can't look at her page. She blocked me, so... Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my gosh. I'm upset, too, Sierra. Grab whatever you want, baby girl. Okay, well, I'd like to look at pictures of your girlfriend, but, you know... Go all the way to the left. Hachi Machi. Oh, no, she's fine. I... What a pig. What a fat pig. Dan, oh. you can do so much better. Happy Sunday. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at my reflection on my own computer screen. Yeah. Never mind, she's gorgeous. Hi, That's good. Oh, hey, hi, Nips. Did you see, you know, we could bring up, oh, is it on World Star? What the <laughs> fuck video is it? <laughs> Christine Gold, World Star? No, I'm pretty. Oh, no, no, no. Go on the nipslip.com. I'm going to show you. This is visual, unfortunately. So, can we tweet it out? We can absolutely tweet it out. At the bonfire, bonfire SXM. SXM. Uh, this is a girl. They have a news girl. Yeah. Who's doing the weather. Mm-hmm. And just as she's describing the weather, you're just watching her white shirt. And her nips just get super hard. It's so funny Dude. to watch. Yeah, you got to go way down. Find it. Because I love that. There's nothing. I think that's why I'm Vanilla Dan is because I liked like when shit on TV where you would see that where you're like, look at her cleavage, you know? Oh, yeah. And then when I saw, like, porn, I was like, whoa, that's a lot. And I think there that's why. There's one. No, oh, never mind. You're going to love this, Say Jacob. It. Jacob, this is going to change your world right here. Well, there's... Wait, is Dusty Rhodes doing the morning news? A girl nipping. Yeah, by the way, I think, I'm pretty sure, wait, go back, go back, go back. I'm pretty sure K-Ron, which I believe is Seattle's thing, has, like, a real odd transgendered it looks like Dusty. It looks like Dusty Rhodes. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the, the hell American is. dream. Dusty Rhodes wants you to know that the weather's coming, baby. Um, I gotta find out who that is. Go ahead, you can play this stuff. Forecast. Let's get the latest as we take a live look here out to Mount Tam. It really jumps too. A well-defined storm sitting up to the north. The first band of rain pushed through yesterday, and it really broke up as it did so. But we you do have a second. A bit here. Ba- with this as it moves coastline, it's coming. that's going to continue Hang through the morning hours. Yeah, here it just it like come. yesterday, there it boy, goes. was it ever misty? Here really, the with, they just show at up. At noon, cloudy and muggy. <laughs> and they get We're gonna bigger be and bigger. Some moisture streaming into the Bay Area as Look at those oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. The three o'clock hour, a chance I like being children about it. Not looking very likely. 
Tonight, it's really tomorrow morning. Slice and ice with those bitches. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry to get you all rattled, lady. Your extended forecasts all coming up in just a minute. up. I'm going to go to the bathroom and flick my bean. Um, Coming up, guess what? What? If you're in Buffalo... Dan Soder's coming to join you at Segway, Helium. Segway like a motherfucker. April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. That's right, Buffalo. Get your tickets for that and all of Dan shows at dansoder.com. Let's also keep reminding people, again, send your submissions that you want to uh, have sweet, sweet, or violent sex with Jacob Batat. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, the bonfire. Stank, we're trying to get some stank on him. Uh, at, bo- send that to the bonfire. The bonfire. At SiriusXM. At SiriusXM. And then go see Big J at the Improv in Brea, California, Sunday, March 25th. I'll be watching New Japan Pro Wrestling in Southern California, so you should go see watch Big J at the Improv. And then he's going to be in Nashville Friday, April 6th, and Saturday, April 7th. Go to BigJComedy.com for tour dates and tickets. We're also going to be able to find the tickets for... Caroline's. If you're in the tri-state area, come check out Jay in the first week of May at Caroline's in New York City. And of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, also, Instagram, and Snapchat. Also, send your uh, sex and masturbation. We found that is okay now. Okay. Uh, videos or audios in with the prominent sound of a TV show, a movie playing in the background. We have to figure out what that movie is. Let's guess what they're listening to while what they're fucking on video. Or blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got a lost tapes for you tomorrow. Oh, I'll tomorrow. be out tomorrow. You're out tomorrow. God, that, my whole week's all fucked up. It's Dan's Lost Tapes, which is a live show with other people. Hey. It doesn't I'll really be... count, though, I guess, if you're not here in your mind. Stop it. The, uh, um, well, tomorrow we have a fun one. I believe we have, uh, I think, Dante Nero stopping in. I think Mike Fanoi is going to be co-hosting. It's going to be a fun, fun day. Woo! And uh, Bombums. Bombums, and don't forget. And, uh, we're going to be letting Dante. We're going to do is, you know, Dante gives man advice. Yeah, man up. Uh, to not masculine people, apparently. So oh, we're going to take calls. Be, we're going to get man. I'm going to give man advice. I'm going to get man advice. Yeah, get it all. We're going to fix everything. Well, it's all, be fine. We'll all be back on Thursday for the Lost Tapes. You'll be recording this. billions. But for the rest oh, of us. Oh, which premieres March 25th. Hell yeah. And for the rest of us that are all going to be here, we love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Problems. Crackle, crackle.